Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Crossroads Podcast, your place to get the latest news, events, and discussion in the world of PlayStation, PC, and Xbox gaming. You know who I am. It's me, LaRon Dawkins here, back with my boys, my squad, Mr. Let me go ahead and just roll, just roll this up right now. Mr. Stoyovich, what's up? This is reverse alphabet. Reverse Which alphabet. Show, I mean, if you're going by first names. Oh. Because I oh. thought you would go with Andre because Andre is first in the alphabet. So I thought Andre, that's how you would do it. Andre Wilson, what's up? I mean, I was always picked last in school because my last name is W. So I, I this is a this is a privilege to be second. I mean, wow. <laughs> You know, I you know what I don't. You know what I don't miss. I don't miss. Uh, you know when the attendance roll call and it's like the Johns. When I get to the Johnsons, and all of a sudden they go to my name, and then there's the long pause. <laughs> there's a long pause, and I just raise my hand. That's me. I'm here, and they're like, some of them are like, okay, I'm not gonna attempt this. <laughs> You could just I mean, tell the the uh, you, sorry. You could just see the agony, and yeah. you're like, yeah, yeah, next one. That's, that's me. Just keep following. fourth name down. Yeah, right here. Skip yep. it. Keep We're her good. moving. Yeah, I mean, how many times? How many times you correct me before I finally got it right? <laughs> uh there's a lot of people I just give up on. Uh well, I well, yeah. I don't... think Corey Corey called me Stoyovic for a long time before I was before I corrected him, and I think he got a little upset. <laughs> I mean, I don't blame them because, like, I would hate to like mispronounce someone's name for months and like yeah, not yeah. have them yeah, that, That's that's the way I am. So for our audience, like, just just to be sure, what's your name, bro? <laughs> what's your name? <laughs> hey, hey, yo, what's your name? Who are you? <laughs> no, 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 for real. Introduce yourself. <laughs> uh, no, but for real, though. <laughs> why is why is he be, why is he being quiet now? <laughs> huh? Why? <laughs> I was like. Sorry. I was like, who <laughs> are you? <laughs> My name is Stoyan Jovic. I am a Jovic. member of the Crossroads Gaming Podcast. <laughs> I am also a member of the EXP cast, a video game podcast. And I am also a writer and contributor to the Boss Rush Network. Man. That's it. That, that was for so some, good. For yeah, some that... reason, I thought you were going to stare right in the camera and just bust up like the most Russian accent and just say that entire line. I, I, was, like, I was like, well, that's I sick. Could. I could. I could. I was, was like, I was low key. I'm like, is he going to All right, it? here we go. Hang on. Hang on. Let me whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I'd, rather, I'd, rather hear your, I'd rather hear your Serbian accent. <laughs> it's the same thing because we're the same. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. So, all right. <clears throat> here we go. My name is Stojan Jovic. I am a member of the Crossroads Gaming Podcast, where we talk about PC, Xbox, PlayStation, not Nintendo. Nintendo, no, 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 no. no I am no, also no. I am also a member of the EXP Cast. We are a video game podcast on Boss Rush Network. I also am contributor to Boss Rush Network website. I write articles. Follow me on Discord. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Uh, all right, all right. So, so just that was so good. <laughs> all right, so just so we have like fair representation, uh, Andre, you want to go ahead and bust out some of that Canadian? Yeah, I want to. I want to hear your worst Canadian accent. Go. <laughs> hey, okay. No, do we even guys don't accent? guys don't ask me to be thug. I'll I'll, I'll embarrass myself. Yeah, if you want to thug, I'll just I can't be on 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 the camera. <laughs> Ooh, can okay. I thug? Can I thug? I can't. Okay, I can't so thug. My, I can't so thug. My, I can't hood. My best Canadian is um. Okay, here. <clears throat> Let's go. Hey there, everyone. Sorry, I'm a bit late. I had uh, just hopped off my polar bear. I uh, was going to buy maple syrup at the uh, at, at at Tim Hortons down the road, and then I was hanging out with the old boys. Took off the old tarps, played some hockey. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, sorry, I'm rambling. Sorry again. Um, my name is Andre. Um, sorry, by the way, for me rambling a lot. Um, this is accurate. I, <laughs> yeah, this is accurate. This is very <laughs> accurate. <laughs> I am into video games. I do photography. Um, sorry that I don't play hardcore games. Um, uh, do photography games. I'm into anime and fitness. Um, sorry, not super fitness, but just, uh, just fitness. Um, I ride a polar bear, drink, ma I put maple syrup in my coffee, and, um, I am a co-host on the Crossroads podcast with my lovely two co-hosts, and, uh, yeah, 
Sorry. He, he called us lovely. Fun fact, I, I yeah. actually do put syrup in my coffee, though. Like, actually. I actually, I actually I put do. I put honey in my coffee, so that's not... I mean, that's fine. I only started putting syrup in my coffee because I saw someone do it on Instagram, and I was like, that can't be a thing. And then I did it, and I was like, holy shit, it's a thing. This is so good. I mean, it's sugar. It's sugar. Why it's, not? It's just basically... Li- yeah, it's just basically yeah. liquefied Liquid sugar. Liquid sugar, so. yeah. Yeah, yeah so... Uh, I, was I just kind of I didn't hear anything about. Don't you guys have mooses up there? You know, what's, you know what's up you know, for a moose? Meat? You know oh, nothing. Sorry, I am so sorry. My pet moose Murphy. Yes, he's yeah. tied up with my beaver and um, my geese Henry. Sorry, I'm I'm so sorry. Stoy, thank you for pointing that out. They yeah. are they they are tied outside of my igloo, where um where it's me and my polar bear. And do you have a who's? Do you have a who's attached to it? I do. I and do. is it a is it a boot a hundred feet long? It is a boot. Exactly. You 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 know more than me than I know of myself. <laughs> I study accents. It's kind of it's it's kind of annoying. That's Dude, a very I, interesting interesting thing to study, though. Yeah. yeah, I I honestly I would love to I would love to like basically learn a learn a a, a faux British accent. There there was a time where uh, you know actually one of the hardest accents to do is the Australian accent because it's such a it's uh it's it's a, it's little, a very it's, ugly accent. Like it's just it's an ugly accent, but it's also it's, like really exaggerated too. Yeah, like actually one I, of the, one of my favorite things I like to say uh in an Australian accent is uh you fucking dickhead. Like I love <laughs> saying that. Yeah, fucking dickhead. Yeah, fucking dickhead. <laughs> Oi! Love yeah, saying fucking that. No. dickhead. Yeah, isn't that fun? It's, it's fun. always so fun, dude. It's so. Oi! Yeah. I there's there's something else I like saying, but I'm not, I can't say it. <laughs> I can't yeah, say it. Yeah, I know it's probably yeah. the same thing too that I'm yeah, thinking okay. of because it's like. <laughs> That's it's like, like that, that. That word is like everyday language in Australia. Yeah, so. it's like "oi, you fucking dickhead," and then yeah. and then that follows up after that. So yeah, but, but yep. So we can't. Yeah, but yeah, I'm glad we know the same thing though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I have that... said this. Sorry, I have said this numerous times to my fiance, so I can say it now. I would listen to on uh, to an Australian girl or man talk for hours because their accent there's something about the accent i can i can yeah. i would let them read me a book i don't even care i would sit there yeah and yeah, just be yeah so it's something in, enthralled by the accent I don't bro know. for the for the longest time i had australian siri on my phone oh really oh my god i just be like hey siri how are you i think yeah. talk and she'd be like shut up you fucking dickhead <laughs> <laughs> and i'd be like god that's so hot oh she'd be she'd be, she'd be like oi Fuck off, and you'd be like, "Oh god, oh, you fucking dickhead, get back here! <laughs> let's hop in this kangaroo and let's get somewhere." <laughs> Oi, get yeah. the jelly! Yeah, I'm also, I'm also a Hi, fan Goku. of uh, Australian accents. Have yourself a veggie mite sandwich and get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Think like a tree and fuck off. Well, uh, well, guys, real fast, let me just go ahead and get all this out the way. Oh. Uh, if you didn't know, uh, please don't forget that you are checking out the Crossroads podcast, uh, which comes to you every week, uh, bringing you the latest news, rumors, games, and general discussion in the world of PlayStation, PC, and Xbox. Crossroads airs live on Tuesday nights on YouTube.com slash Exodus803, normally at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, we apologize for the nights that we do have technical difficulties that cause us to be late. We promise. We love you. We, we you would go. never leave you hanging out there. Uh, uh, also, as always, you can head over to Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and other podcast locations to get the audio versions of the show, which are hosted Thursday mornings after the live show debuts. Uh, video recaps can be found on actually on the following Wednesday on the YouTube channel, or if you're or if you're one of those people that can't get to it on Wednesdays, I always check it out Thursday mornings when it hits the BossRush.net live feed uh, because. Uh, we want to keep you in the know, and we, we love it when you check out our episodes. If you want to see previous episodes of our show, head over to BossRush.net. And if you like the show, or if you're watching it live now on YouTube, if you, if you like it, uh, give us a like, uh, subscribe, turn on notifications. Uh, if you're checking us out in the audio version, you know, uh, just uh, rate, share, and review wherever you are checking out the show on the podcast version. All right, guys, how's the how's the week been for you? you how's it been? How's the weather out there by you? Oh, how is the weather? Uh, it's good. 
It's um. Well, it's I mean, can't you bit... see he's in Egypt? So I'm in Egypt, bro. So, uh, so uh, hold on. So it's so it's dry. It's it's, it's really dry out there right now, right? <laughs> Actually, by us now, yeah, because I started uh, I started coaching soccer. I, I coach high school uh, varsity soccer, and uh, I was out of the field today, man, and it was like the grass was really dry. <laughs> we haven't <laughs> had uh, we haven't had rain in a couple weeks, and man, if we don't have rain in a couple weeks, man, every everything dies up here in the Midwest. Mm. Mm. Midwest. Uh, Sorry to hear it. How's uh? Have you guys gotten a break from uh, either one of you guys gotten a break from the uh, heat wave? Because uh, no. we we finally got a break over here and um on the east coast. We had like maybe like a day and a half of rain, and then and then the heat's like, bitch, please, and I just came back, and I was like, all right, cool. Uh, but, the, but like the sorry. worst part is like I put my AC away, and I was like, yeah, finally, you know, some rain, and then and then the heat's like, ha, ah! and I was like, god damn it, why are you still here? Yeah, like uh, like it tapered off. It tapered off last week on Thursday. Like um, like we had we had like three days of rain. I mean, it wasn't like three straight days of rain, but we had three days where where it rained consistently. Um, and then the All and straight, then the yeah. uh, and then we we got down into the low eighties. Uh, as a matter of fact, yesterday was like yesterday the high was seventy three degrees. Uh, today it was a uh, seventy eight, and um, I'm that's afraid. actually pretty low for you, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Now I'm I'm say. actually af- I'm actually afraid to see what tomorrow might bring bring to us uh Ooh, mommy 71 Ooh. tomorrow will be 79 then it creeps back into the into the get low 80s sweat, get them sweatpants on bro 72 <laughs> Ooh. right shoot like uh like 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 now it's almost like it's almost like i have no shame because i'm wearing shorts outside <laughs> yeah but um yeah but uh but but Guys, you know, um, I think it's, go- it's time we go ahead and talk about what we've been playing. This, uh, this we've been off. For, we've been off for a week, so uh, I don't know. Like, yeah. Uh, like, yeah. So hopefully, you guys have some really good stories to talk about. Uh, talk about what you've been playing. Hopefully, hopefully, you know, you know, maybe, maybe, huh? Maybe. <laughs> Is this a setup? Are you setting us up? Uh, well, yeah. Who who wants to go first? <laughs> well, I'm gonna Rock, go because I'm. Rock your scissors. It's too late. I've already decided. Um, all I've been playing the last week has been Arcade Paradise. Arcade Paradise? Okay, yeah, I've, bro, I've seen bro. the I, I've seen the previews for this. I game. have a question. Yeah. Mm. How is your uh, road work business going? Uh, I haven't uh, I haven't been to work in the last two weeks. Oh, oh you're fired. Sad. You're you're fired. There is you're some, you're fired. I'm on, vaca- I'm on it's, vacation. It's, are you on vacation? vacation? I mean, are you on vacation? What or are you we get too bu- here in America? That's it. Are you on? Are you on? Va- <laughs> are you on vacation? Or are you too busy running an arcade laundromat? Well, what I'm is busy it? Busy running an arcade laundromat. Actually, that's kind uh-huh. of good. well. If we think about it, he went from power washing, house flipping, road work. So I think he deserves like some time off, right? Yeah, and you know what's what's better fun to you know kind of lounge and relax than to do laundry and. Run an arcade, bro. You were playing, the, bro. You were playing the dad games. There's, there's no, there's no break from being. This ain't a dad, a dad game. No, no. Let me tell you, <laughs> this is like a fuck you, dad game. A fuck you. <laughs> All right, and well, I'm please. Gonna, and I'm gonna explain well, why. Well, 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 please tell us about it. So you play as a college dropout, and you know, you, and it's we're talking like the early '90s. So you play as a college dropout, early '90s. You know, you drop into school, you drop out of school, and then like dad, who is running a laundromat, decides to hop off and go on vacation somewhere. And he's like, okay, you're in charge of the laundromat. So you run the laundromat, you know, with your half business degree. And uh, you find in the back room. Wait, wait, did you say hack business degree? That's literally what he calls it. He says, I have a half business degree because he's. You know, oh, a half, half. Yeah. Okay. So, what so you think the hack? Half. H-O-L-F. I thought it was. Lawrence, what did you think? I thought yeah. it was hack. I thought it was hack. Oh, hack. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, it's like. You go into the back room and there's like a couple arcade machines there and you still like find people like actually going to that back room and using the arcade machines. So, you know, with your half business degree, you start to think to yourself, hey, we need to buy more of these video game machines so that we can make some money off of this because Mm -hmm. you're making money from doing laundry. um, And basically, like people drop off their laundry, you throw it in the wash machine, then you throw it in the dryer, then you put it out and then someone picks it up. So you get like you get some money off of that, and you actually get scored. 
based on how well you do things. So like, say for example, how quickly you put it in the wash machine, put it in the dryer, then remove it from the dryer. You get a higher score, you get more money. Um, if you throw the garbage away uh, with like one little, one really good throw, um, you know, you get really good score and money off of that. Uh, peeling gum off the walls, uh, picking up garbage, uh, unclogging the toilet. There's an unclogging the toilet simulation uh, in there where you have to like kind of rotate the plunger around with your joystick and then you have to kind of mash the rock, the trigger button. Yeah. There's a lot, there's a lot to this. And eventually there's you get a- to a point where you have to buy more arcade machines. You have to expand. So you got to knock down some walls and then, so you can fit, fit more arcade machines. Once you start fitting more arcade machines, you start buying more arcade machines, but now the problem becomes the arcade machines start breaking, so you got to fix the arcade machine. Of course, of course. Yeah. I saw so, I saw in the trailer there's a there's a there's a thing where you actually have to like where you have to like you pull out system boards and stuff and sometimes there's roaches and shit crawling all over them. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, what kind of vacation is this, story? I mean, this is uh we're talking like on, honestly the the, the big thing about this game is like the game doesn't advance unless you advance. So the hard work and the dedication, the grit, the grime, the blood, sweat, and tears, it's all on you. And that's what advances the game. So if you're the type of person that just likes to fuck around and play video games, you ain't going to get anywhere in life. So you got to put in the grind. You got to do the laundry, make the money, make the improvements. Sometimes you got to move arcade machines around. Sometimes you got to change the difficulty. Sometimes you got to change how much the games cost. In order to maximize them profits, bro. All right. Now Damn, there's a lot it, to this game. There's, there's a, a whole business. This, this is a lot to this game. You have a PDA where you have to micromanage all your schedules. You got to micromanage all your to-do lists. And there's even like a llama game. You know that dino game on Google? Like if you go yeah. into offline mode? Mm-hmm. It's uh it's similar to that. <laughs> so you can play that on your PDA. There's a lot of distractors in this game, but if you stay committed, you stay to the grind. You're gonna reap profits, my guy. Damn, even I'm sweating. Holy yeah, huh? that 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 sounds stressful. <laughs> it really is, honestly, because like you 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 throw things in the dryer and you're like, okay, I got two minutes to go play some fucking video games, and then all of a sudden, like you're in the middle of a video game and you're in the middle of like a pr- really decent level, and like all these games are playable. Like all the arcade games that you put in this arcade are playable. So there's up to like 30 games you could play. That's pretty cool. Yeah, so like a lot of there's like a Pac Man meets Grand Theft Auto game in there. Whoa. Um, I mean, it, it sounds strange when you mix it two, but it's probably one of my favorite games. There's like a match three game, there's like a video game version of uh, air hockey, there's a driving game, there's like a it's kind of like a Moonlander type game. Uh, there's all oh, different, sweet. yeah, there's all different kinds of games, they're all playable, and you know. Sometimes you got to get high scores that'll get people to play those games more. So it's it's cool. What's up? Uh, what's your favorite? What's your favorite arcade game that you played so far in it? It's that uh, it's it's that Grand Theft Auto slash. Uh, you uh, talked you talked game. about that. What what you talked about that on what, was on EXP Cast on Sunday, right? Yeah, yeah. So basically, it's like the map is uh is laid out. the The city map is like an overhead map. Kind of similar to what the old Grand Theft Auto games look like, mm-hmm. um, but like you know, you you take your uh, Ferrari, your Lamborghini Countach. Oh my God, almost committed. Huh. Uh, Lamborghini Countach around, and you're picking up money that's on the road, which is like the dots on Pac-Man. Uh-huh. And uh, if you get caught by the cops, the cops are like the ghosts. If you get caught by the cops, you actually <laughs> jump out of your car and you have to literally run away from them on foot. <laughs> Oh that's hilarious. Goodness. That sounds yeah. fucking awesome. You, so you have to run away from them on foot, and then they spontaneously put your car back on the map somewhere. So you have to oh. run before you get caught. And, uh, you know, if you jump back in your car, then you can continue the level, which is cool. Mm. That's pretty cool. <laughs> uh, so, uh, so any fu- it, like, how far are you in the game? Uh, I just did my second major renovation. Uh-huh. Um. I didn't get to the parts of the game where you actually have to do maintenance on the machines mm-hmm. uh, because I, you know what? It, it, it's like I've, I, I, th- there were some days I've just fucked around. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just admit that there were some days I could have been productive and I fucked around and it's just like, come on, man, this isn't how you grow a business. You got to You got to put your nose to the ground. You can't be sitting around playing video games all day. Got to grind every day. Exactly. 
So every day you gotta be hustling. Like you know, that's basically. what I gotta. That's what I gotta do. I gotta play that every day. I'm hustling song. Oh, every day, every day, is, every day is that song. Yep. So basically, uh, Shimu Shimu walked so Arcade <laughs> Paradise could run. Yeah, because because uh, you know do you know how do you know how much I fucked up in Shinmu like in that damn arcade playing those classic Sega arcade games. Oh my god, like <laughs> like there there were times in the game and and the game was sneaky because the game would auto save on you every time like the night and day cycle happened. So it was like it was like you couldn't roll back your save. You had to uh, you had to you actually had to unplug. Remember the VMUs? You had to unplug that. <laughs> oh, but god. you uh, but you unplugged it. You couldn't see your your arcade display for like your high score. <laughs> I don't think I never played the, any of the Shenmue games, but I, I oh, heard about it. Oh man! Oh man! Yeah, they. For I'm not sure. I'm not sure how well they've aged now, but they were they were great back uh back in the heyday of the Dreamcast. Um, any final thoughts on the uh, Arcade Paradise? Is it a is it is it, is it a must play for everybody, or is it or is it one of those games that? You... Every day I'm hustling, hustling, hustling. Anyway, before you get I was about to say, <laughs> yeah, I was, I was about to say, don't get us, don't get us copyrighted. <laughs> yeah, I know. Sorry, that's why. You, don't, Fifteen don't, seconds. Fifteen don't seconds do it. is the limit. Don't do it. I heard. So, um, no, honestly, it's it's addicting, and there's always something. There's always something to do, and that's why I like that game because the game doesn't advance unless you really put in the work, you uh-huh. put in the grind, and sometimes the days get to be really short to where you you feel rushed, like you think, like, man, I just don't have enough time to do this, but. The game goes on as long as you want it to. It's not like you're under a time constraint. You could just maybe like every day just fuck around and play video games. Or mm. you could actually put in the grind, put in the hustle to really build the business, you know, raise money so that you could buy more arcades. To once you, And once you buy all the arcades, you get to, uh, you know, story beats where you start to talk to your dad. You talk to your sister who grants you permits so that you can kind of knock down a few walls. And uh, Wait, 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 wait. wait. What, what, what does your sister do in this whole thing? She works for like the city uh council uh, office or project something like project planning stuff like that i guess yeah so she gives you the permits so you could like knock down a wall and you're you're chatting with her over like aol instant messenger like it's really <laughs> cool. it's really kind of cool the way they kind of uh this game is uh, so quaint oh yeah like if you grew up in the 90s like you'll you'll fit right in you'll fit right <laughs> in you'll you'll get all the references you'll get like the feeling of it the vibe of it it is delicious in the 90s for anyone yeah. who hasn't Play the game. This is what we lived. This is what we lived. This is what we all lived. Well, because honestly, like, that was the thing. Like, arcades were, like, shoved into, like, businesses like that in the past. Oh, yeah. In the 90s. It wasn't uncommon that, you know, you went to a laundromat and there were a few arcade machines there. Even just restaurants. Like, restaurants, there would be a few arcade machines just shoved there. Just for the hell of it. You know? Yeah. Yeah, well, how about how about the how about the how about the laundromat that had a restaurant and an arcade up inside of it? Bro, you could like do your laundry, go eat a burger. Oh, laundry's not done yet. Let me <laughs> play some games. Let me just crank out some Pac Man, dude. Yeah, play some Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, bro. Let's fucking right? go. Easily. Yeah. I'm 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 old. I'm old. I remember when Seven Elevens used to have a couple of arcade machines. Oh Holy yeah. Holy cow. Holy yeah, cow, like, bro. Yeah, like there was a there was a Seven Eleven. There was Seven Eleven when I was like eleven or twelve that had um that I don't, I'm not sure I'm not sure what the owner how the owner got this much space, but he, but there was four machines in there. Uh, there was yeah. a Gauntlet Two machine, a Miss Pac Man machine, um, one of the Donkey Kongs. I want maybe it was Junior. I'm not one hundred percent sure. I could I can't remember. Um, and uh, you remember that game Defender? What Sorry. defender? Just yeah, just look it up yeah, on the Atari on, on the Atari yeah, yeah. on the Atari collection. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But man, I would go in there and just lose lose all my money playing Gauntlet because <laughs> because that Gauntlet's goaded. Yeah, yeah. Gauntlet is one of those games that basically is designed to take your money. Easily, we, easily. we sit there. We sit here and we think games like Ghosts and Goblins, Ghouls and Ghosts, and you know stuff like that. You know, um, uh, you know, Commando, uh, uh, Akari Warriors. Those games are are designed to suck quarters out of you. No, nothing suck quarters out of you faster than Gauntlet. Because man, like, it's honestly like kind of sad that kids nowadays will never experience like an arcade. A real arcade, a real arcade experience. Like you know, yeah, if, I, like, if I like, if I had money, I would buy I would buy old cabinets and just do some things. There's a there's a like, mall. wait, story. You have a Tekken cabinet in your in your house. 
I'm staring at it right now. My Tekken two cabinet. Tekken two. Yeah. Yep. Yep. I ha- I used to have Lethal Enforcers. I used to have that cabinet. Oh, the and light I, gun? I, the light gun I game? Bought, yeah, I bought that cabinet because it was a project cabinet. <laughs> and I was like, how hard could this be? Like, you know, the guy I bought it from said, like, it could be these two things. I just don't have time to fix them. I was like, that's cool. Like, I'll buy the parts. And, you know, there's parts out there. And, of course, yeah. once I would fix one thing, three other problems showed up. I fixed other three things. Two other problems showed up. Fix those things. Yep, yeah. and then, and then all of a sudden, I fuck it, threw it in the dumpster because fuck it. <laughs> I used to have a Area Fifty One. I had Area oh 51 damn and Maximum Force cabinet. It mm-hmm. was like a two in one. A two in one. one. Yeah, I remember that. That one was flawless. Worked perfectly. One of my friends wanted it, so I, I, you know, I sold it to him, and um, it doesn't work now in his house. Uh oh. So mad because I don't know what he fucked up on it. But- I s- I swear, if we lived if we lived in the, if we lived in the same area, man, I would be like, "Hey, man, help me help me uh, refurbish the Dance Dance Revolution machine." Oh, uh, man, you know, you know that's th- that's the thing. Like that's become such like a commodity of collecting. Yeah. That these are these are pricey. Like for example, yeah. the ones that are sought after are those four player like Konami beat 'em ups. Like those are the ones. Mm-hmm. That, yeah. You know, you got the you got Captain America and the Avengers, TMNT, TMNT. Um, yeah, I think uh, Knights X-Men, of the Round is a big X-Men, one. X-Men, yeah. X-Men, yeah. So those are very much sought after, and we're talking thousands of dollars. Yeah. Thousands yeah. of dollars for this piece of nostalgia. Thousands of dollars to have someone grab you by the taint, pull it, and pinch and roll in between their fingers. I hate nostalgia sometimes. All right. Anything else? Anything grabbing else you want? by the taint, full fist <laughs> grabbing you, and just... Anything else you want to say about Arcade Paradise, or are we good? You want me to go on a little bit more about this feeling of nostalgia, or? Uh, no, no, no. I just want to make I just want to make sure you had it all out your system. That's all. Arcade Arcade Paradise is a good nostalgia trip down memory lane, but you got to grind. You got to grind. All right, Mister Wilson, you're up next. I have been playing. Sorry, I'm just quickly doing something on my computer. I have been playing. <coughs> po- uh, Holy shit. Ooh, Did you I know that I can't edit I just, that out. Otherwise whoa. we're gonna get our video game part taken away. I'm about to get canceled. Holy shit. Digimon survive. Please. Andre, you gotta pack up your shit and go, man. Sorry. Wait, look, <laughs> I'm gonna just head up. I'm just, I'm just mad at myself. Holy cow. Uh Digimon Survive for the Nintendo Switch. So if you don't know what it is, it is a first of all, if you don't know what Digimon is, get wrecked. Okay, because I well, I almost just fucked up and, and, and called it Pokemon, so I need to get wrecked. Um, yeah. It is a Bruh. visual what happened. No 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 no, I'm just <laughs> Oh I know, I know. Just kinda, yeah. I know, Bruh. yeah. Anyway, uh a visual novel, so it's like Fire Emblem. And um I used to play I used to play Fire Emblem like way back in the day when I was uh, a little younger, like way, way younger. I didn't really understand tactics and strengths and weaknesses, and I didn't really care. I was just like, ooh, new game, cool, buttons, buttons. And then, um, buttons, 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 <laughs> buttons. I never really cared for the story. I was just like, this game's fun. And then I go into battle, someone would die, and it was permadeath. And I was like, oh, this game's stupid. Eh, F this game. So, I kind of that that left a bad taste in my mouth. So then, moving forward, when did I get this game? Uh, a couple Fridays ago, I was like, "Oh, actually, no." The fr- uh, the day it came out, it was I think that Friday. I was I was over at my friend's house, and he got it, and I was like, "Okay, well, you know, I'm here. Let's just see what this game is about." We spent like an hour, so we started playing it, and we got like enthralled in this game. And by like an hour in, I was like, "Okay." I want to play this game. <laughs> I was like, Holy. <laughs> because it was it was so interesting. Because every decision you make in the game has leads you on a different path. And like apparently the game has like six different endings. New game plus is the true ending. Like Oh god, I hate when games do that. I, I know, you know, you know I you know have to play, have to play the game two, uh, two whole times to get the real ending. Yeah, and like so. So you have like different classmates and like depending on the conversations you have and like sentences you say and actions you make, they can either 
not like you or like you and say if you're in battle and their Digimon are beside you, they will team attack with you or not. So their affinity also means a thing. And you have something called like harmony, wrathfulness, and... <sighs> wrathfulness? Oh, wait, wait, yeah. wait, wait. These are, these are the attributes. Yeah, like, because uh, yeah, I remember so watching the cartoons. I remember watching the cartoons and you see all these attributes for like yeah. all these Yeah, so there's Digimon like green, classes. red, and yellow. Green is good. Red's bad. Yellow's like n neutral. So those depend where the story goes. And depending on those three, how your Digimon digivolved. So, like, my Agumon digivolved into something else other than Greymon. And I was like, well, I want a refund because this is not right. But, <laughs> but I, obviously, I obviously kept playing because I was like, okay, well, this is cool. But it was just, it was really interesting because Andre apparently... Is take, Andre is ready to take his ball and go home. Uh, I was like, <laughs> Agumon is Greymon. Don't tell me other things. Um, so, the whole permadeath thing was really interesting. And I was like, shit, I don't know if I really want to play this game because I'm nervous. So I said, fuck it, I decided to play. And apparently if your Digimon does die, um, you can just restart the battle. So I was like, okay, that's cool. But apparently the actual kids in the story can die. And I was like, that's Ooh, dark. I was that, like, that's dark. Like, yeah. dark as shit. And when they die, the Digimon dies with them. And I was like, holy wow. shit. Wow. That is so dark for that's a Digimon game. For but, a then again, game. but then again, but then again, what I, but then again, what? what I remember of the cartoons though, like yeah, like the like the kids were important, like they had to they had to make it out in one piece. Mm -hmm. True, right? But I just thought that like everyone made it, but apparently, kids could die. No one has died in my game yet, so I've yet to see a death. But I but when I heard that, I was like, holy crap, that is insane. So. Long story short, um, I'm really enjoying the game. I'm really enjoying the the um, the novel style, the the tactical battle. If I could go back to my younger self and be like, "Hey, man, just learn like kind of like rock beats paper." Sorry, rock beats scissors, scissor beats paper, paper. That whole concept with Digimon, how there's like like uh, like water, fire, grass, all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. If I could go back to my uh, younger self and be like, "Hey, man." Just, you know, think about your moves. I would, because moving forward after this game, I might want to start trying some Fire Emblem games because now I'm like, well, this is interesting because I can't just attack someone because I could get attacked from every you, side. So I kind of... You, 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 you'll get clapped. Yeah, so I have to approach every battle differently. So it's really cool. And the story so far is interesting. And like I said six different endings every decision i make is literally changing the course like when i watched my buddy play it he had a certain cutscene, and then when i played it i chose other decisions and i didn't get that cutscene. and i was like holy fuck i was like wow so it's like super in-depth and it's really cool if you haven't tried it digimon survive i highly recommend it i personally have it for the switch because I could just play my Switch anywhere. I take my Switch to work. Um, I can be downstairs and lay on the floor and play. It's fun. But, of course, if you have a PlayStation 5 or any of the system, you can So do it. you lay on the floor, or like, on your stomach with your uh, knees bent? Is that how you play? <laughs> That's, that is... Can you imagine when you're just, like, full spread? Like... You were so wrong, just like, man. You just like so this. Wrong. Just like this. Just like this on the ground. Like yeah. this. And like, la, 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 exactly. la, 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 la. Fiance comes down. What are you playing? I'm playing Digimon Survive. I'm Leave playing me alone. Digimon Survive. La, la, Leave me alone. Oh, Where's man. my apple juice? Oh, oh yeah. man. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Digimon Survive <laughs> is available on, on Nintendo Switch, PS4, Xbox One, and the PC. And, Don't uh, get it for the PS4. Don't. Stop. Don't if you're thinking about it, turn around, smack yourself, don't get it. Why? Why? Because the PS4 has to just stop being a thing. Okay. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, oh, that's where we're going. Oh, here we go. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Setting we've, us up. Setting us we've up. We've talked about this prior. It's Let me get time. the time. Uh, we're, 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 we're not ready for this right now because I, I, I want to talk about my games. Can I do that? Can I do true, that, guys? Okay. <laughs> like I said, Digimon Survive, Dark, Great, not Pokemon. Get it.
because I almost, I almost called it <laughs> yes, Pokemon sir. Survive at the beginning. Yes, I know sir. you almost called it. I was I was waiting. I was like, he's gonna slip. Like, he's gonna he's, oh, gonna, he's, oh. gonna, he's, he's gonna slip. He's gonna slip. All right. All right, all right, all right. What how, uh, what would you rate? What would you rate this game right now? So far, I'd rate this. So far, where I am in the game, I'd rate this as a eight point five. Eight point five. Oh, 8. cool. 5. Story. What story? What did you say you rate your game as? Uh, if you go to bossrush.net and read my review, I gave it a oh, four and a half that's, out of five. That's right. Yes, you did. Four yes. and a half out of five. Yes, you did. As a matter of fact, I will go ahead and just, uh, for anyone that's out there checking us out right now live on YouTube, I would just go ahead and throw the uh, throw the link out in the stream chat right now for you guys. That yeah, well, read it later. Don't 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 step away from the from the stream. You know, just <laughs> open a separate menu. There you go. There you go. Because you know, tab. May tab. I, I ask? May I ask why a four and not a five? There were. I had a few moments where like. You know, you, you wanted to have that sense of like people in your in your laundromat in the yeah. arcade, yeah. you know, but like they had these like cheap little uh, character models mm -hmm. that would just like hang out and then just disappear. Oh, OK. I and then if you, especially if you got close to them, they would just disappear like they would go. Wow. So like you're building you're, you're crafting this laundromat, you're cleaning mm -hmm. everything up, you're crafting this really cool arcade and like you don't see like you. You don't see people there. Like, you don't have yeah. this, like, sense of, like, you know, so if they had had that, if they were able to kind of at least put that in there where it's, like, maybe these people can interact with you. Maybe these people could even offer you some advice, like, you know, yeah. instead of so just, like, like you, all the guesswork. You would have liked, like, the more you build up the arcade, the more random NPCs pop in and start yeah. playing. Yeah, I can well, see that. Well, because, like, That'd you know cool. how sometimes these simulation games where it's, like, you want to see the fruits of your labor, you want to see the people enjoy it. Yeah, And it's, course. like they would like throw someone in there just sitting down at a laundromat and then they would just disappear after like 10 seconds. It's like, okay, why, why even bother? Yeah. Right. Lame, lame. Fair enough. Yeah. Fair enough. I agree. Yeah. That's by the way, missing. by the way, arcade paradise is available for PlayStation five, PS4, Xbox family. I almost, I almost messed up and said all those Xbox systems, <laughs> Xbox family, <laughs> PC I mean, and Nintendo switch. <laughs> I know. Right. I, <laughs> You, if you're on an Xbox, you you can play it. it well, uh, an Xbox at least one generation old, you can play it. <laughs> All right. Well, um, well, guys, uh, well, Story already knows this, but uh, but but I, 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 I managed to play two games. I never played the third game that I told you about, Story. So you don't, so you don't get to trash talk me this week. Okay. Don't worry. Don't worry though. You trash talk me next week. I'm sure you will. Yep. <laughs> but uh, but guys, I actually played and beat as Dust Balls this weekend. As a matter of fact, I beat it. Uh, actually, wow. yeah, I, yeah. I actually, I beat it on. I beat it Saturday night. Um, and then and then because of a snafu, because I was actually recording, I recorded content for the game, so it's actually going to be going live uh, actually tomorrow on YouTube. Uh, for my for my first playthrough of it. Um, but yeah, um, I played and beat it, and I gotta tell you, like you know, for a game that. You guys were here the first the first week when I played it for mm -hmm. for a game that I was kind of lukewarm on. Like it it actually it actually got me. It grabbed me. It grabbed me pretty well. Um, honestly, um, so uh, so basically for anyone that's curious about this game, the game talks about the game talks about an incident that happens to two families. You know, and this and and the uh, and the story spans over thirty years. Uh, it's broken into six chapters and everything, and it's, and it's really it's a really cool game. You get to meet some, you get to you get to learn about some really interesting characters, and there are some characters I can tell you right now that um that you're going to gravitate to. You know, um, it's made by Interior Night, who's the same people that made uh that made. Uh, well, they're part of they're they're formerly part of the teams that help make games like uh, Detroit Become Human, Heavy Rain, Beyond Two Souls. So they're part. They used to be part of Quantic Dreams team uh, back when Quantic Dream was also a property for uh, Sony Interactive Entertainment. Um, but yeah, uh, the game. If you're used to those narrative type, type games, like you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna enjoy this one. Uh, I don't I don't know how the story wound up hooking me as hard as it did because normally if a story doesn't hook me at, at the end of the first chapter like I'm probably moving on and some strange I guess it's because I was I was recording content to put into a gameplay video I stuck with it and by the time we got into the second chap by the time we got in the middle of the second chapter I was finally hooked and I'm glad I kind of stuck with it and everything uh 
but you know that being said, you know like this is uh, even though it's from the team that's that's that you know helped make like Detroit become human and all that stuff. It's not like a fully like moving polygon game like those games are. Like it's actually like a whole bunch of storyboard. Like there is a there is two D on top. There is there is two D. There's 3D on top of 2D graphics, but it's not it's not like diverse polygons of, of characters and stuff moving. But the story is the story is amazing. And story, I, I I understand where you how you got excited and thought you rolled credits on the game. Yeah, <laughs> that was just the first act. Yeah, <laughs> that was just the first act. The second act. No, was, there's more. <laughs> yeah, I was dumbfounded. Yeah. I was like, oh, there's another. Oh, okay. yeah. The game, the game relatively is relatively short though. Like you can, like honestly, if you if you have like an afternoon, you can beat it in an afternoon. Like in all honesty, like it, the start, like out, the whole game. Yeah, you can beat you can beat it in around six hours. That's if you have that type of time. I know Andre, you got kids, you know, so yeah, you don't have that. Luxury. Yeah, no, of course. But I, I'd rather like a like a longer dragged out game. That I just mm-hmm. I just enjoy. I like I think the story is a lot better if you just kind of drag it out, not too much, but just like drag it out. It's like reading a book. It's like reading yeah. A book. yeah, 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 yeah. Um, but yeah, the game, yeah, the game is uh, the, I, you know, um, I, I can't say any bad things about the game, but particularly how like I was like basically like you know like I was kind of mean to the game, you know, in the beginning. <laughs> but um, but yeah, like it's um, yeah, but I, I mean, I like think, I think I remember you were saying that you it wasn't hooking you right away. Yeah. Yeah, I was uh, yeah, I was pretty I was pretty mean about it, you definitely, know. Um, definitely once you get past that first hour, that build up when things really start to kind of heat up, then it becomes really good. Then it really yeah. becomes interesting. Yeah. Uh but yeah, I would say if we're if we're using the um if we're using the 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 the, the 1 to 5 scale, I got to say this is probably this probably wound up becoming a solid 4 for me, you know, but I had to st- I had to stick with it because if I if I went off my initial reaction, it was going to be a two point five. <laughs> so I, so sticking with it actually got it to got, you know to actually earn it an actual an actual like legit score and stuff like that. Uh, like you, if you're one of those people that like that like narrative driven games, like you know like like the ones I mentioned previously, this is right up your alley. So definitely go for it. Um, and then um, I also got a chance because it because it dropped over the weekend. Uh, well, it dropped on Friday. I actually got a chance to play some of that there Spider Man remastered on the PC. Spider Man. Yeah. Uh, I will say this. I'm honest. I I I will legit. I will legit beat this game this time because when it came out on PS4, uh, I I I never finished it, and the only reason why I never finished it is because like when you. When you're reading a book that's too good, you know you don't want to. You, you're, I'm one of those people that I do not like to end because, like, that's the end of the characters. And explain, I don't... explain that to me. Explain that feeling to me because I've never had that feeling before. Okay, no, there, no, there are people out there like you know, and and be... the easy I way can. to say, it... I can. Okay. okay. Oh, good. Go for it. <laughs> so, as you guys know, one of my favorite games is Legend of Dragoon. Right, I've talked about that. Yeah. Which, which rumor has it is coming to PlayStation Plus. Oh, I know. Ooh, I, I boy, saw if that. It does. I saw. I saw that, and I said, "Fuck, I need to buy a PlayStation again." Anyway, I have gotten to the end of that game. <laughs> uh, three to five. Hold on, I think like a lot. Yeah, I've gotten to the end of that game a lot. As many times as I can't think, as you guys just saw. I've gotten to the end once. I have attempted to beat the final boss one time, and I couldn't do it. And I was like, that's fine. I have restarted that game as many times as I've gotten to the end of that game. For your exact reason, I don't want to say goodbye to those characters. Yeah. The the adventure was unreal this game has four discs um the story was great as many times as i've played the same battle listened to the same songs done the same combos i never get tired of it mm-hmm. and i don't know if i ever will beat that game not because i can't just because i don't want to the game has a party of dark of its rose I think like six or seven people. I it's been a while. I can't remember. And each time I re, I replay it, you can't change out Dart, but you can change out everyone else. Each time I replay it, I do a different party. So 
I'll try all the girls and then all the guys and then wait, I'll... wait, 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 wait. I forget. Is Dart die? No, no. Dart lives. Okay, somebody dies though, right? No. Uh, no, no. I've never somebody... beaten it. I've never beaten it, so I don't know. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I don't okay. know. I've never so, beaten yeah. it either. Honestly, I've never. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So uh, honestly, so, I've never, I've never beaten either. So we're we're all we're, we're all we're all we're part all, of the club. We're all there. So yeah. So I've gotten to the end of the game with numerous parties maxed out, and I've just I've gotten to the end, saved the game, new game, and that's that. And for some reason, I don't know why. I just I but, don't want to let that game go. I I had so much fun with Spider Man back when it was brand new back in 2018. That uh that it that you know like the action and everything like i had basically unlocked everything i don't think there was too many there's too many like skills or anything that were that were left that, that need to be unlocked sorry what was your favorite costume oh god i can't remember all the costumes that that that's that's sad um i can't remember all the costumes uh I would legit have to turn on my PS4 and, and see. Like I, I don't remember. Uh, but even though, even though I do like the first costume that he gets, though, like that, like that, basically a red, white, and blue one. Like I, that I do like that. One. I, that, I like that. That default costume, yeah, yeah. Like, you know, oh. yeah, the one that was actually made for the game. I actually like that. Um, I like it. Yeah. Uh, he had a black and gold one that wasn't that wasn't basically it was not the the the, the symbiote suit, but it, but it had a really cool scheme to it. And I, I kind of like it that was one. um it was the uh, I don't know if I oh, it was a Doc Ock suit. I'm I, yeah I'm not I'm not I'm not doing it credit because because uh, this is the first time I played this game in four years and I haven't unlocked any suits yet I haven't I haven't really like dug into the dug deep into the game yet but hopefully how, you know how far huh? did you get the first playthrough I was at the final fight I was at the final boss fight and you didn't beat it no no pack your shit and leave okay okay fine oh boy Bye. you you were at the end of the game and you didn't beat it. I do this a lot. You want to hear another game that I got all the way to the end and didn't beat? You know what? I can't say shit because I've done that. that game, so. if, if he the says game, God of War, I swear to the God. Game, the, game oh, dude, came, the game also came The game also came out in 2018. The game also came out in 2018. Yep. <laughs> yeah, I've got a war. Yep. Knew it. Oh, my <laughs> God. Laurent. Andre, this yeah. man used to run a PlayStation podcast. When this I is still the PlayStation podcast. This is still the PlayStation podcast. This man hasn't even touched Ghost of Tsushima yet. He's like, I got so many things to play. And it's like, you dude. haven't played Ghost of Tsushima? Dude. I feel hey, like how... this is a recycled topic, so I apologize for bringing it up. But it's this still This is my first time. This is my... How far did you get in God of War? Like, you were at the end fight? The Balder fight? Oh, dude. That fight. What happens after is monumental. <laughs> Oh, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. Like, okay, let's see. Ghost of Tsushima. I would say you'd have. I mean, you're gonna have to beat it before the second one. You have to. Yeah, you yeah. You have to beat you it before Ragnarok. Yeah, you you yeah. As a matter of fact, shit. I still have to beat Horizon Zero Dawn. <laughs> <laughs> I have Forbidden West waiting for me downstairs. I. <laughs> this story, you, you, story, you've known me long enough. This is what I do. Like, I just, I, I know, just, I know. I just collect I know. games. I, I just collect games just to flex. <laughs> That's I mean, all I do. Too. <laughs> me too, but. <laughs> <laughs> yeah so um i can't uh, i can't put a, I, I can't put a score on spider-man remastered right now i'm playing it on pc and by the way i was playing and i was playing as dust falls on pc game pass uh but um but i can't put a score on that because any score i have on it right now is just, is just me being totally biased because you guys remember i was the fucking cheerleader for this game before sony even announced that it was coming to pc so yeah there, there you go so any okay. score I give it, any score I give it is biased, and if anybody wants to give it like a like a two or a one, I will fight you. <laughs> Some fan you are. Pretty sure no one will, but uh, you know. Yeah, oh, uh, uh, you, you know, yeah, I guarantee you go. To, I guarantee you go to go to freaking Metacritic. To someone review bombing it, you know, because people got mad about it being sixty whole dollars. You know, you know. I mean, well, I was I a little, mean, I, I was a little shocked. I was a little shocked. Was, Sony had the nerve. Yeah. I, I was a little shocked. Sony had the nerve to like to like ask for sixty dollars, but at the same time, now that I have the game. It's worth sixty goddamn dollars. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh really? Well, that was that was a fun topic, guys. I mean, we we talked about a bunch of games. We talked about a bunch um, of games. We talked about games we've been playing to talk about. <laughs> do you have anything like to share as in show and tell? Because I know I do, and story does too. 
Uh, did I even show you guys? Um, I probably, I probably did. Um, but I can show you guys a couple of things because, um, because uh, yeah, like uh, like like our buddy Corey, um, actually hooked, actually uh, sent some stuff, uh, recently through the mail. Uh, me and Stephanie got some stuff, and yeah, so I've got so I've got some books, but um, but I don't know if uh, I. Don't, I don't know if I, uh, I don't know if I uh, showed you guys what Stephanie got me either. So so yeah, let's I'll I'll, I'll do the we'll do the show and tell real fast. Um, hang on a second. I just got I just got to note the time. All right, all right. Who wants to go first? Go ahead, Andre. This was your thing. Okay. Over the was it this past week? Yeah, this past weekend, I was downtown. I was downtown, and I was blogging which you can check on my youtube channel anyway i was downtown already have and thank you for that i managed to snag two things that i didn't think i would i so for the longest time i had been looking for a certain book i've been looking for the first volume of a book and i found it it is the legend of zelda twilight princess manga series and i found the first volume finally and i was so that's excited a, that's actually a hard thing to find like how old is that i went how to like is that uh, <laughs> I that's a great question. I will tell you in a tw- uh, I'll tell you in a second. But yeah, um, I went to like f- like five different stores. Oh, Man, do 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 do. I know, right? Yeah. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, all this dead air. Two thousand. That book is 22 years old. Yep. That's on the le- right. their, been, The Legend of been, Zelda manga it, series started with Organ of Time, published in 2000 in Japan. Mm-hmm. Damn. So, yeah. Right. So, this is... Well, that's a good find. That's yeah, a good find. As you can see, uh, it has, I think, eight volumes. I plan on now buying two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm, are, those also, easier, are those easier to find than that one? I have seen all of those everywhere except one. And I'm so like, you where? so you lucked up and found number one. Yeah. Damn. So I went to this place called Sunrise, and they sell records. And sometimes they'll have like books and like little like um, novelty type things. And mm-hmm. I, and me and my buddy walked in there just last store we were at before we were gonna part ways and go home i'm like hey let's just check this store out he's like okay we're walking through i'm kind of just looking i go to the book section i'm like i wonder what they have i saw it and out loud i was like holy fuck and i hey, grabbed stay. it and i said let's go now and he's like what and I'm like, I <laughs> he's like, let's go book. now <laughs> let's go now hey, so, story. so hey, hey story does does uh does 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 andre strike you as a weeb like I, oh, I, I would, I would. Super weak. <laughs> I mean, I am. Super I, am. I have things in this room that are very weavish that I can't show people because they will make fun of me. And then also, <laughs> we already know you're a weeb, man. Yeah, it's we okay. already know. We already you know. Flex. You gotta flex. And then also, as I was there, I will try and show you guys. I bought this really cool um, Star Wars. Thing. I saw that. I yeah, saw that over that the weekend cool. on your YouTube. That yeah, is, that's, I saw that's, that. Wait, 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 wait. wait. I, pan, pan back to the Funkos. Let me let me see if I can identify them. Okay, we got. Is that's, I oh crap. I kind of know them, but I don't know them. Who are Malik they? Malik and Revan. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So that actually, I didn't plan on buying. I saw it and went. Well, now I have to get it because I love Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> so I got the book, got the Star Wars thing, and I'm a happy camper. So that's what I just wanted to show you guys. All right, all right, story. What's your swag? I'm not proud of this. Oh, it's not proud Uh-oh. of it. Uh-oh. I'm not Uh-oh. proud of this. Oh, well, why is I'm that? A, I'm, I'm gonna show you. <gasps> oh my Jesus! Wait, what wait, wait. That? Uh, yeah, like we can't see it because your fil- your 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 filter. Yeah, your your camera's kind of shit in the oh, bed here. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, okay, so I it's literally, a box. I literally have in my hand ten sealed copies of Anthem. Why? What? <laughs> Why? 
I don't know. For which system? I have a problem. For which system? I have a problem. Please tell me they're all not for the same system. For PlayStation 4. They're all for the PlayStation 4. <laughs> Why, man? 10? 10? I need help. Okay, I need help. okay. Need okay. Help. okay, first of all, help. first of all, how much did they cost? It would. How much did they cost? Okay, um, so recently, you know, Bioware and EA were fighting... Put, uh, they were fucking putting the the horse before the cart, right? They yeah. were fighting. No, no, they, were no, fighting. They, were, they were putting the cart before the horse with this. Yeah, yeah. And they probably printed like billions of copies, thinking this is gonna be the next big fucking thing. This is gonna kill Destiny. This and that, whatever. Sent all these stores millions of copies, and of course, naturally, they didn't fly off the shelves like they thought. Mm -hmm. So you know, GameStop and all these other video game stores like are probably sitting on a bunch of these copies. Like, get this shit out of my store. So this um. This game uh, store I follow on YouTube, they have a YouTube channel called Double Jump Games. They do, like, daily vlogs on, like, you know, them kind of the day-to-day -day of their video game store. Uh -huh. So I was watching a video where they were like, yeah, we just got, like, all these stacks of, like, 30 or 40 copies of Anthem, like, sealed copies of Anthem. And we just discounted them to, like, two bucks a piece. Oh, sealed God. copies of Anthem. So I was like, I'm going to buy 10 of those. And I go on their website, and I just bought 10 of them. <laughs> Story. So, so the thing is, is that oh, so how how far yeah. how far up your ass is your wife's foot right now? I no, I I'm very transparent with my wife. I told her like, listen, you're gonna see a box, and that ah. box is gonna have ten copies of the same game in it. Let me explain. So no, you're, <laughs> so let me like, explain. You're like, let me explain. Listen, I have an addiction, so you're gonna I see a, a box. <laughs> I have a box because she's always like, oh, what'd you get? And it's like. I'm going to have to open it in front of her. I can't be like, no, I don't want to show you because <laughs> she's not going to like that. But no, anyway, you're, so you're so the, hus I, well, you're the we, husband that we go did ahead, this, go ahead. uh, uh, cause I like to host extra life. That's that 24 hour video game marathon thing for children's yeah. hospital. Yeah. So every year we do it with a bunch of my buddies. We get together, we sit in the basement, we play games, whatever. So one year, one of my friends got 10 copies of Titanfall two. For like a similar price or whatever. So what he did was like he hit them in couch cushions. He hit them underneath <gasps> people's systems or whatever. And wow. then like if people were like, hey, there's a sealed copy of Titanfall 2 here. Whose is this? And it was like, hey, it's yours now. You can have it. It's like a giant Easter egg hunt. <laughs> so yeah, it's like an Easter egg hunt, whatever. So, okay, so this is what you're planning on doing? This is what I'm planning on doing. The problem is, is that Titanfall 2 was a far superior game compared to Anthem. Uh -huh. So I don't think people are going to be up for this. <laughs> They're going to be like, hey, there's a copy of Anthem here. Hey, it's yours. No. No, no, no. thanks. No, thanks. No, thank no, 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 no. I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. So I think I'm stuck with all these copies of Anthem. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. So uh, I mean, if it makes you feel better, you can ship me one. I was just about to say that. Uh, <laughs> you can ship me I mean, one. If you, you guys, if you guys both want one, I'll give you one. I'll give you one. <laughs> We'll see what happens at the end. Maybe maybe people are like, yes. You know, listen, Anthem wasn't a bad game. It just has, there, there's nothing in the game. That's the problem. Mm -hmm. They crafted this beautiful fucking world and they didn't put anything in it. Hey, honestly, Watch Anthem just had the biggest comeback ever and you have like 10 copies of it. Hey, honestly, Andromeda's having a comeback. I think Lorraine. Yeah, Andromeda, like yeah, Andromeda yeah. is having a comeback. Like, all heard, of a sudden, yeah. everyone's like, hey, Andromeda's actually pretty good. And then it's like, and then it makes me pissed because it's like, fuck you, it always was. Yeah, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, and then man. all of a sudden, oh. just like five years later, all of a sudden, Andre, now it's good all of a sudden. Andre, People, you were you were in the chat, you were in the chat stream when one story almost ripped my head off because I was yeah, like, hey, yeah, I was like, hey, look what people are saying. I didn't like, say, hey, hey, look what I am saying. I said, look what people are saying. Story you were now. like, hey, Andromeda is good again. And story's like, hey, yeah, fucking dick. Hey, <laughs> you always dick. Dick. it's always <laughs> been <laughs> good. <laughs> <laughs> and then Laurent's like, oh my god, okay. okay. Yeah. <laughs> you made me pull out the Australian accent. Yeah, you know when that comes out, you're, it's like, whoa, whoa, okay. Okay, take like it I, easy. I feel like I didn't say anything. <laughs> yeah. I but, honestly uh, but, don't know all the hate for Anthem. I never played it. I just don't know why everyone hates I don't, it. I don't, think, I don't think there's any hate for Anthem. I, don't, I really don't think there is. I think um, the problem was was that they, they doubled down on it being a big thing, but they didn't really, 
they didn't really populate it with anything. Like it was supposed to be that destiny killer, that kind of persistent online universe that everybody was supposed to, the gameplay was amazing. The graphics were amazing. The story was really good. They just didn't, they didn't have enough content to keep people playing for a long time. Like it's all, it sold like crazy in the first like month. You know, Destiny like people were not into that it. long for them to say, oh, this is going to be a Destiny killer. That, that that was their first mistake right there. Oh, yeah. When you're trying to kind of compete with someone. Yeah, absolutely. EA wanted yeah. that Destiny killer. So, you know, they doubled down with that. But the problem is, is that there was no like immediate like timeline in terms of like, here's what we're going to have for games. Here's what's going to have for content DLC. Mm -hmm. They promised something months down the line, but it's like you got to keep people invested you know, leading up to it. Like you got to yeah, keep people coming back that there's going to be new content and, and people I left. Think, I think the whole keeping people like keeping content to keeping people coming back. I think this can go back to the whole entitlement thing where people, yeah. ex people expect content week after week, month after month. And sometimes uh, if, I mean, it, I mean, is the expectation bad if they kind of do it, if they, if the, if the company is saying, Hey, this is what you're going to get. No, no, was, no. I mean no. that that was the thing. If they promised something that they didn't deliver, that'd be one thing. But when they released that game, they promised nothing. They just said more oh. content is coming your way and literally oh. gave no timeline, no blueprint, no nothing. Okay. Okay. Uh, so it'd be one it'd be, it'd be one thing if they said, "Hey, this is what you're going to get in the first month. This is what you're going to get in the second month." You know, and yeah, obviously, if they didn't, uh, if they didn't follow that schedule, then shame on them. But you know, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice. Now, now, Andre, I just want to, I just want to, I just want to raise a topic real fast. Yes, sir. No, notice how this man still hasn't told us how much he spent. <laughs> I spent thirty bucks. That's it. Thirty bucks That's for not ten at all. copies of Anthem. Tell me, I'm the smartest investor out there. Tell me, I know how to spend my money. Go ahead. You, you something. <laughs> Go ahead. Come on. Tell me that I just made a smart investment. Please. Please tell me that. Please, bro. You I know what? This. You know I, what? I, you bro, know what? Bro, I you know what? You know what? Please. You know what? People people have, have fucked up $30 on a lot less. Let's put <laughs> Thank you, Andre. I know you didn't want to say it out loud. But, but thank you, Andre. <laughs> I got you, Nor, but I got you. see I see in the chat. Thank you, Andre. <laughs> I got you, buddy. It's all good. <laughs> oh. oh man. No, nah, story. No, nah, story. Like it's your passion. We get it, man. We get it. Uh uh just... No, you know, it's kind of a funny it's kind of the funny thing about video game collecting. It's like you gotta have that you gotta have that game that makes people go, what the fuck? You know, like yeah um, like senran kagura peach beach splash like when people look at that in my in my uh collection they're like what the hell is that oh it's like oh it's a bunch of big boobed anime girls running around squirting each other with squirt guns while wearing bikinis it's hold like, on that's a game like yeah, what's yeah, this yeah, game yeah, called yeah, again game. senran kagura write this down senran oh, kagura yeah. peach beach splash god you just had to you just had to send him on a quest Sen now didn't you story Ren. yeah Watch, just watch the trailer for it. Watch the trailer for it. I think you'll be hooked. <laughs> Jesus I, see the, I see the thumbnail already hooked. Yeah. Anyway, that's all I want to say about that because, yeah. You just you just had to send this man on a quest now. Oh, my God. He asked. He asked. You didn't, you didn't have to give it to him? Like, you didn't. Come on, it's like the it's like the Jurassic Park. What am I gonna Park do? Tell him no. I'm not gonna tell Andre. It's, no. it's like that. It's like that Jurassic Park meme. Just because we can doesn't mean we should. <laughs> no, we have to push the boundaries. We have to. We have to give. I, it's a solid game, actually. It's a really solid game. Really good, tight controls. Mm -hmm. uh, a really well developed. Oh, I, oh story. I bet they're tight. I bet they're tight. Very well developed story. This so. is the most lewd shit I've ever seen <laughs> in my entire life. You, I, I'm not even going to get into detail about that game. Holy Aubrey, back. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, uh, all right, so, uh, so a couple weeks ago, like, Corey, Corey just all of a sudden out the blue, like, messaged me and, uh, me and Stephanie and said, hey, like, you're on the lookout, I sent you guys something. And, uh, and I was not expecting what, he, what, what he sent me because basically he sent me two, two collector's edition books. Uh, first one being the, uh, the art of, Crap! Now my now my filter's doing it. The art of Naughty Dog. Oh, it looks so cool. Yeah, that's cool. And, yeah. 
Yeah, and uh, and yeah, like uh, like it it covers a lot of sagas. It, it covers the early years, which for Naughty Dog was nineteen eighty four to ninety six. Um, it, it covers the Crash Bandicoot era, which ran from ninety six to ninety nine in Naughty Dog's hands. Um, then the Jack and Daxter era from oh one to oh five. Then we got yeah, Uncharted, right. which they've got two thousand seven to present, which means like there's still stuff in the pipeline, I guess. Uh, but when was this book? Uh, this book was printed. This book was printed in 2014. So at that time, you know, like... Uh, so Naughty yeah, like Dog, this... honestly, just making big footprints, man. They're so yeah. good. So yeah. good. Um, and then they have The Last of Us, which was the last thing that went that, that they released before this book came out. That was in 2013. And then they have a whole bunch of... Then they have a whole bunch of pages dedicated to under, underdeveloped projects, um, future projects. They've got a whole fan art section and stuff like that. But if that wasn't... If that wasn't... If that wasn't good enough, though... Like, like this man, this man also decided to gift me the art of Mass Effect. <laughs> wow. Holy yeah. yeah, I've seen that one, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That was, uh, so I'm not sure which one, I'm not sure which one, like, like hit me in the feels more. Like, the, like the Mass Effect one or the Naughty Dog one. But, uh, but, you know, like, I don't want to, I don't want to, you know, like, like, you know, like rate a favorite of like of like my friends between uh, Corey and Stephanie, because Stephanie, right around my birthday, hooked me up with the art of dead space. Oh my god, that looks like it'd be cool. And you know what? And you know what? I you know oh number one this this spans this spans every game of dead space up up to the printing of this book. This book really and this book wow. Came, this book came out in 2013, so this this is up to and including Dead Space three. So like every so like every game in the in the franchise at that point, like this book covers it. Um, and man, I I, I swear, like uh, like sometimes I just I just sit in bed at night and just just flip through this book. Like it, it's, <laughs> I'm glad I don't have a live in like like partner or spouse right now because they would be so mad. <laughs> Because the only thing I give attention to sometimes at night in the bed is that book. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, but yeah, like I was, I was blown away. But I also love these books because, like, um, I'm not sure. Like, story may have seen. It. Um, I, I didn't. Uh, like, Andre, you and I didn't know each other, but um, I bought a Monster Hunter. I bought the Monster Hunter World complete got complete complete works book. It's this thick. It's this thick. When it Holy came in the, when, I did not anticipate it being that thick. It's like a freaking encyclopedia. I didn't expect it to be that thick. So when it came in, and I like, I opened up the box. I was like, Jesus Christ! And I immediately like, I immediately like, 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 recorded myself doing a live reaction of it. <laughs> it's, on, it's on my Twitter, and I mean, like, I'm, I'm a nerd. I'm a nerd, so I can't. I can't even. I can't even like. I can't even like be be malicious to you when so I, got when a, I say you're a smart a weeb. investor. We got a smart investor, a guy that knows how to spend money. We got a weeb over there. Then we got a nerd right there. So, yeah, what a <laughs> it's the, what the a trifecta. trio. It's the what, a mo- trio what a motley crew, eh? Oh yeah, hey, everybody. Like what a motley crew there. A motley crew and a bunch of dickheads. It's a fucking bunch of fucking dickheads too. <laughs> bunch of fucking dickheads. Well, thanks for introducing show and tell to the to the uh, to the uh, to the to the show. I I don't know if it's gonna be a thing, but but good good on you. Good on you. It's fun, right? It might be. It might might not be a weekly thing, but hey, if we have some cool shit, we will show you guys. Yeah, sure I have, enough. I have I have weeb shit, so I can I could be here all day. Trust me. Uh, so hey Andre, you ready? To, you ready to talk about this uh, this week's uh, notable games coming to PlayStation, yes, PC, sir. and Xbox? All right, oh, cool. All right, cool. Let's let's go ahead and roll this out because we have some news to talk about tonight. After after all this is said and done. All right. Okay, we got August fifteenth. Let me let me oh. let me te- let me tee this up real fast. Uh, yeah, so yeah. do you? So do you? so uh, so as always. Head over to BossRush.net, check out the article. The article's up right now. It's the noble games come to PlayStation, PC, and Xbox for this week, the week being the 15th of August to the 21st of August. Uh, we've got some high-profile titles making their way to consoles, uh, to, to a console near you, including the Mayhem Shooter. Uh, you know what? You know we'll let Andre get into it, but but we also are... Uh, one of the games that are releasing this week is also giving a, a, fi- a video game farewell send-off to a... a a name in the gaming industry. Just, just think about that. Andre, take it away. Okay, August fifteenth to nineteenth. Benedict, Benedict. So the first one we have multiverses. Is it multiverses or multiverse? 
No, multiverses. It's that. Multi- it's that. It's that Warner Brothers D Mul- slash DC oh, okay. so Smash Brothers game. Season one multiplayer brawler. I'm sure you all know what I'm talking about. If you ever want to be Batman and kick the living shit out of Buzz uh, Bunny, no. Uh, or or, Sco- or Scooby Doo. <laughs> or Scooby Doo and kick Shaggy in the nuts. Now you can. PS5 and PS4. Also on PC and the Xbox. Did he just say penis five? Sound like he did, did, but it's not like he did. But we're just gonna go ahead and go. Kicking Shaggy in the nuts, and then all of a sudden you just segued right over to PS5. And I just, I think I did, I like like blurred it all all together. PS5 and PS4. Sorry if I said penis four. That's not what. That's that's okay. That's okay. This show is already marked not for kids. We're good. Fair enough. Okay, number two, Monster Tribe Tactical RPG for the PC. We have Backpack Hero, a strategy RPG for the PC. Coming in at number four, we have Spark, the Electric Jester 3 platformer for the PC. August 16th. No, no, no. No, no, no. We have Roller Dome. Drone. Act- Drone. Pardon me, Roller Drone, the action indie for the PlayStation family. Also on PC. We have coming in at number two, the way the way of the hunter. The hunting sim. Stoy, you're in. You hunt. The, the, the hunter. Uh the hunting simulator. The PS5 and Xbox Series X also on the PC. Um, you know, you know, what, you know. I think, I think from now on, when when it's when it's just PS Five and Xbox Series X, we're just gonna say say current gen. Current gen, <laughs> got it. Current gen. I think we're. I think from now when only when it's PS Five and P and, and Xbox, you know, Series X. Current current gen is PS Five and Xbox Series X. PlayStation Family is PS Five and PS Four. Xbox Family is all the Xboxes. That way, we're all clear. So no oh. more penises get involved in this. Number three, <laughs> Tribes of Midgard, the action. Sorry, an action. Xbox family. August yeah, 17th. Finally, made this Xbox. finally. Little League World Series Baseball 2022 Arcade Sports. PS family. Also on PC and Xbox family. August 18th, we have We Are OFK. 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 The Indie Adventure. PlayStation family, but also on the PC. Number two, I'm I, I'm probably gonna say this wrong. Thymesia. Oh, close, close. Thymesia. Thymesia. Thank you. The action RPG on the PlayStation family, also on the Xbox Series X. <laughs> Number three, something I would not like to be cursed with: Cursed to Golf, the 2D platform on the PlayStation family, the Xbox family, and the pc just, august just real sorry. fast yeah, yeah look up curse to golf later you might change your mind <laughs> it's actually it looks pretty solid everyone please hold <laughs> the, i'm mad he had to break i mad he broke the show just 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 for that from the pictures it looks it looks actually kind of cool <laughs> i mean it's like a, it's a side-scrolling golf game like that's basically what it is yeah, yeah, but uh, yeah, but you're uh, yeah, but the uh, but but you you've got an arsenal basically. Ooh, coming t- to the switch, might have to get it. Might have to get it. Um, August nineteenth. No, 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 no. Um, Madden NFL twenty three sports PlayStation family, Xbox family, and the PC. Um, rest, number rest, two. rest in peace because this is the final Madden NFL game for for EA. Oof. Oof. I mean, I think they, they reached a deal with like the NFL, so they're still going to be making football games. It's just not going to have the mad. It's just name not going to have the mad name on it anymore. That's all I had to say about that. Yeah, sorry about that. Take it away, Andre. Sorry, I was just, I was watching the trailer for that game. Um, First of golf. I, I take it back. I might get it. Yeah. That he looks pretty fun. I'm not gonna yeah. lie to you. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Stop, um, stop with the snobbery, man. Stop it. <laughs> stop it. Number two, <laughs> a tale of paper platformer, PC, and the Xbox family. Number three, Cloudpunk RPG coming to the PlayStation Five. And number four, 
the game you've all been waiting for. Can I get a... For Sir Whoopass, the hack and slash for PC. What the f is this? You know, Sir? you know, I did not want to take, I did not want to take this seriously, but I was on, I was on the EXP cast uh, Sunday with Stoy and Pat. What is this? And these guys turned me around. Oh, this <laughs> Bro, you got you, you got to give props to some of the most uniquely titled and unique gameplay games. And even just watching the trailer for this, Andre, you, you owe it to yourself to watch a trailer for this because they definitely just watching a guy, just watching a guy in full in full armored regalia, like running through the running through down the hill like a pansy. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm watching the trailer right now. What in the actual <laughs> fuck is this? Yeah. Actually, from the early stuff I've I've seen about it, it looks like it's a very solid game. It, it, but like, just oh get ready, just get ready for humor. My God, yeah, Sir Whoopass, uh, the hack and slash medieval game coming to PC. Like, it's only available on PC at the moment, but I'm pretty sure it will hit every system soon. <laughs> that game looks entertaining as hell. As always, guys, which of this week's releases are you planning on grabbing watching. first? Sorry. <laughs> um, Story. Which, oh, okay. which, which, which one of these is grabbing you? Wasn't um, were we missing something? There was something else coming out today. I thought today, uh, today yeah, the sixteenth. Yeah, there was some sort of like uh, mm, or, let's or, find or out. I, or am I blanking on the name? Let's there let's was, find um, out. That, Hold on, uh, let's, Zelda let's find out. The Zelda clone, which Zelda clone, Zelda clone. Let me see. Yeah, wasn't that? Blossom All right, Tales so, too? oh, Blossom Tales two, the Minotaur Prince. Okay, yeah. yeah. You know yeah, me. I kind of, uh, I kind of cure, I kind of curate the list for the show. You yeah, know, no, that, no, that's fine. Um, but was that, that was, was, was that a bad, was it a bad one to admit? Well, I mean, honestly, I don't. Bl I mean, it's coming off for PC and Nintendo Switch, so maybe that's where you missed it. But um, yeah. that one looks really good because that one's like it kind of looks like a link to the past clone. I want to try it. I, I want to try it. Dude. Should I get it for Switch or should I get it on PC? I mean, you might as well get it for the PC, I guess. Yeah, I guess. I mean, I'm, I guess. I'm getting it for I'm getting it for the Switch. It seems like it seems like I just it seems like I spend all my time in my PC anyway gaming. Poor you. Yeah. Poor yeah. you. Um. Yeah. Out of, out of out of everything that's on this list, um, I I think I'm really going to jump on that Curse to Golf because I mean, like after seeing the trailer and everything, yeah, uh, Thymesia is a solid is a solid uh, is a solid hit, you know, mm -hmm. uh, as well. Cloud Punk. Uh, for anyone that doesn't know, Cloud Punk. <laughs> I actually played this game. I played a significant portion of the Cloud game. Cloud Punk was was is, is an indie is an indie game. It's kind of like it's kind of like a uh, it's kind of like a sim uh, not yeah kind of like a sim game because like in Cloud Punk you're like this futuristic mailman basically. But this is one of those games that was that was jumping on that whole cyberpunk like train because like when you when you look at this game like it actually is a cyberpunkish game and stuff like that and it kind of and. You know me, I like cyberpunk. So like I'm pro cyberpunk, you know, like the the idea, the 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 you know, not so much the no actually I don't have a problem with cyberpunk 2077. Like don't 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 get it twisted, guys. <laughs> uh but hey, you're uh, the one you're the one saying it. You're the one saying But yeah, it. but but no, I, I I love me some I love me some good cyberpunk. Like it's just it's it's that it's that that niche level that niche level of sci-fi fiction. That's sci-fi fiction, that's what we're done. That that niche of science fiction that you know is like, yeah, like it's completely dystopian, but at the same time, it's it's possible. So yeah, I, I love that stuff. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to see what everybody's saying about we we are OFK. I I gotta see because like this game still is not doing anything for me. Uh, yeah. But honestly, I I feel like people should not sleep on Little League World Series Baseball 2022. Like, watch that trailer. It looks uh, honestly, honestly, it looks like honestly it looks like this is something like you know Nintendo should know of Mario Strike in, in the vein of Mario Strikers. You know, like mm -hmm. it's it's interesting. Um, I was padding time waiting for Andre to get back, but I guess it's not going to happen. Uh, it, yeah. Uh, the well, Blossom let's, Tales let's, game. Let's let's talk to uh let's let's get to the news. All right, cool. Yeah. All right, well, they can. we're going to go ahead and roll this out, man. Um, and uh, first of all, I guess, uh, oh, real fast, because I always got to throw the disclaimer up there. Um, yeah, the complete the complete list of games uh, can be found over at, over at the article on bossrush.net. Um, and as always, all release dates are subject to change. So so please be aware of that, you know, because uh, uh, don't, don't get mad, uh, you know. 
it does you no good. Like I'm currently mad at Nintendo right now for a game that's just not coming out. You know, what is he doing? Is he is he tap dancing on his keyboard? No, sorry, sorry, sorry. I went downstairs to make a protein shake, so I got, I I have my protein shake. Sorry, sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not, I'm, not gonna say what it, I'm not gonna what? say what it looked like, what it really protein looked like. You were doing. <laughs> I meant to say protein. There you go. God. Protein shake. Not, not, not Un- like, you like skip the letter. You were like protein shake. Protein shake. Unrelated. Protein shake. Unrelated. I won a new blender from work, and the and the blender downstairs that I won is worth eight hundred dollars, and I haven't used it yet. And I went downstairs to use it, but I'm like, uh, I'll just get this instead. So I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. All right. All right. Well, we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna go ahead and get started with tonight's news news topics because uh, we know we know you guys have things to do and you don't want to hang out with us all night. So let's go ahead and just break right into it. Uh, um, all right. Before mm-hmm. sorry, before I was about to leave, I heard you ask what game we're all excited for. Curse yeah, golf. yeah, Cur- yeah. I am full on curse the golf because that looks fun. Looks like we got another one, Stoy. Yep. <laughs> yep. We gotta watch some trailers. All right, all right. Well, let's do this. Let's do this. We got we got plenty to talk about tonight here. So first off in the news, uh, PS4 guys, it's in the life of PS4, and we're and we're not seeing it. Apparently, Sony is seeing it because Sony is no longer pro- uh, providing shipping up uh, shipping uh, shipment updates for PlayStation Four. Uh, while the system apparently still remains relevant, they're still. Games are still coming out for it. We don't know. We, we don't understand why, you know, uh, Sony has made, uh, and Sony has to make a commitment to, to manufacturing the console. Uh, our analyst friends over at Nico partners have noted that the company has not sent a sales figure report on the system since March of 2022. So like it's guys, it's September. Like we haven't seen anything on, we haven't seen any sales numbers on those games in five months. I think the writing's on the wall. Good. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Sony's not turning over. Sony's not turning over the turn over the script. So you know, like, hey, like, it's it's a wrap. <laughs> yeah, let's as it stands, right, I mean, let's, at, l- let's take some of that labor and let's take some of those uh, some of that workforce and start making more PS fives. You bastards! It's, it's, yeah, dickheads. There's that. It's, you fucking dickheads. Fucking yeah, dickheads. it's very simple. Stop making PS four shit and move on. It's very yeah. simple. Yeah, I like I I was afraid. Like you, you guys heard me say this. Uh, you know, uh, kind of kind of steadily. Like I'm afraid that the PS4 was gonna like suck up the the lifespan of the PS5 and stuff like that. Because look what, look 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 how far the PS2 ran in the PS3's lifespan. And look how look how long PS3 ran in the PS4's lifespan. It looked like it was one of those. It looked like it was one of those things. And you know what? I feel like the Japanese companies do this more. And I'm not saying this to be. Somebody's gonna be like, "Oh, Ron's racist. He just called the Japanese out." No, no. <laughs> I feel like the Japanese no companies do this. That. I feel like the Japanese companies do this because, like, look at look at how long the the the, the DS ran into the Switch's life cycle. Yeah. True. Look, look at, at how long the Wii U ran into the. Oh, never mind. <laughs> uh, you know, and and you know, like, I know people are gonna say, "Well, that's two different. That's two different things. That's two different markets." Like, not really, because like the Switch is a glorified the Switch is a glorified DS. It is. Yep. It is. It's, it's using it's using virtually the same type of medium. Like you know, it's cartridge based. You know, and, and things like that. You know, it's got your touch screen. It's got you know, it's it's portable. You know, it's a hybrid system. It's portable and stuff like that. You know, like it, when Nintendo and news. I, I don't know. I, I I guess it's kind of the same, but a little bit different because we yeah, yeah. writing on the wall. When I think a few years before the Switch was announced, they merged both the handheld and the console divisions together. So yeah. there was obviously that kind of yeah. notice where it's like okay all right maybe nintendo's making something that's going to be a hybrid i know? feel like they were i feel like they're already playing around with it because remember the 2ds remember that i feel like they were already like in in line to do that because because say because say what because because sony can say i'm mean, not sony i'm sorry nintendo can say what they want to say they were like they're like oh this is the one for little kids you know if you don't want to spend all that money you know on something they may break nah because well, guys- kids are stupid and they throw shit on the floor and they break shit and the ds <laughs> got- is very the ds is very Flat, fragile. So I you got, can vouch. I have two children. You, you they were pro, they were prototyping. They were prototyping their hybrid system with a 2DS. Mm. I, I I don't care what you say. I think they were <laughs> prototyping with the Wii U. I mean, the Wii U kind of yeah, uh, that too. I, I that think too. was a little bit too more similar to the Switch. I mean, that's yeah, my opinion. yeah. 
Yeah. But anyway, going back to going back to PlayStation. Um so so yeah, so as it stands right now, the PlayStation 4 will I think it tapers off at 117.2 million units sold worldwide. Unless unless Sony decides they're going to start coughing up some more information on this. They may they may they may do something at the end of the year, but if they're but if, if we're on trend right now, we haven't had a, we haven't had an actual report from Sony in the last five months. Like they might do something at the end of the year, and that that'd be the last we hear of it. But uh, but I don't know. It's been a while since I've seen a PlayStation Four on a, on on anybody's sales floor. It, it's been a while. Yeah, you know? I, I I haven't even seen. <laughs> I I obviously see more Xboxes than anything. I see the yeah yeah I see the I see the games, but I don't the see way, the systems. The way that I see it is when the PS Four. Got announced. We were in love. We had our system. The hu- the honeymoon stage was great. Years later, we got tired of each other, but we didn't want to break up because we didn't want to be alone. PS5 comes r- around the corner. We're like, look it. We can have it better here or we stay here. Mm-hmm. We all chose here. Why are we still holding on? As Kylo won... As Kylo Ren, Kylo one, Kylo one, Kylo one. As <laughs> Kylo Ren once said to Ray, "You're still holding on. Let go. Hey, Let go." It's very Honestly, simple. You know, at some point in your life, some day, somebody's going to turn around and make you want to say goodbye. Until then, are you going to let them hold it down and make you cry? Don't you know? It's very simple. Is it going to change? Is it going your way? But. I guess if you hold on for one more day, then you guys, one more day you, turns into one more week. One more week turns. It's just it's time to put down the time four, to pick go. up the five. Time you guys, go. you guys make some terrible marriage counselors. I, I'm just gonna tell you that right now. <laughs> Are you upset? Yes. Are you upset? Yes. Don't be with each other. Very simple. Thank you. <laughs> thank you for your time. Goodbye. <laughs> it is funny every time I say that to like kind of newly like newly engaged people. When I was like, you know, you could have said no, right? <laughs> you didn't have to say yes because he asked. You could have said no. <laughs> could have said no. And think simple. about that. Think about that. You know, and this is like, all the trouble you could have. This is actually coming from a man that's been married for eleven years. <laughs> like you didn't have to say yes. Could have. You, you could have. Have you told your wife your that? Life. Have you told your wife that? No, I say that in front of her. <laughs> it's kind of a joke. It's kind of okay. A joke. Okay, you could have said no, you know. So I always tell mine that I'm buying uh, that on the way home. I'm gonna buy a plane ticket and just then just go somewhere. I mean, go and do it. Each day I tell her that, and she's like, "Okay, have a good one." Home. You should. You just busting the door one day, like, "Babe, baby, pack a bag, pack a bag." And she's like, "Where are we going?" And they're like, "We, yeah. <laughs> where are we going?" We, uh, hold, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> what we yeah <laughs> me and the cats are out of here <laughs> yeah I'm taking so, my video games and weaving <laughs> i'm taking my weave stuff and i'm leaving all right so uh so guys i, I have to ask as we wrap this topic up uh, uh you, you guys sound like it but i just need that i just need a positive confirmation are you guys ready to bid the, a bid farewell to the playstation 4 it's time to retire it in all seriousness yes i on. think I think it is hindering the advancement of the PlayStation Five. I really do, and I think I think it's time. Look how long the PS3 was around when PS4. We don't need to make the same mistake twice. Mm-hmm. I think it's time. I think mm-hmm. it's time. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. Um. I. I was. I was. I was been ready. <laughs> I'm yeah, gonna use I the mean, most broken ass English I can. I was been ready <laughs> for the PS4. I, I'm the it's, wrong. It's that, I've been ready. <laughs> it's not even that I hate the PS4. Like I mean, like my PS4 is living his best life now over at my boyfriend's house. Hey, so <laughs> it's living his best home. life. Like I mean, I mean, he just beat uh, the Last of Us not too long ago. Like he's ready to queue up Last of Us Part Two as soon as uh, the school year starts off. You know, um. So yeah, he's he's living his best life right now. Well, my PlayStation is living his best life, and he's having fun. You know, um. So I gotta ask if we're if we're going ahead and tying tying a bow on the PlayStation Four. What was your favorite? What what game was your favorite? Oh shit! I mean, you got to think exclusive, right? Yeah, yeah. That's Ghost, first part. Ghost first part. I knew he was gonna say that. Tsushima. <laughs> it's a toss up for me between God of War and Spider Man. It's a toss up. I, I I really I really can't pick one. I mean, those are I solid. Can, those are solid. But Ghost. I can tell you. Them out of the water. I can tell you the last two games I ever played on it. Uh huh. Right. 
it was it was I think it was Ghost of Snow. Yeah, it was The Last of Us Part Two, and then Ghost of Tsushima, and then I got uh-huh. my my PlayStation Five. I think my favorite game was probably The Last of Us Part One. That's one of my favorites too. That's one of my favorites yeah. too. I think I think that was like. That was like, cause I just I remember the hype, and I was just like, like I was like, I was like, what is this? And then I got it, and I was just like, whoa! I was like, holy cow, this is fucking he- amazing. So yeah, I think I think The Last of Us Two, God of War, you know, f- nominees: God of War, Horizon, um, Ghosts, Last of Us Part Two. All of them are really? great, but but my personal one, Last of Us Part One. All right. All right, yeah. All right. Well, uh, we can go ahead and move on to our. We can go ahead and move on to our next bit of news, unless someone has any final thoughts on the uh, on the PS4. You know, like sailing off into the sunset. I hope you have a good one in the afterlife. All right. So for our next bit of news, uh, plus the if you didn't know, the PlayStation Plus Extra and Premium games for August twenty twenty two are now available uh, to go out and get. Uh, <clears throat> This lineup, can, this lineup uh, for this for this month. This is the back half. This is the back half of the month. Remember, there's two drops for PlayStation Plus every month. The uh, the beginning of the month is the ones for all tiers, and the and the middle of the month is the one for the people who paid for the uh, for the extra and the premium tiers. So, uh, so this month we've got this month we've got an additional 13 games come uh, across PS5, PS4, and the classics range. Actually, there are no classics for this month, so I don't know why I include that in there, uh, but. Overall, it's headlined by three Yakuza games, which uh, which which are soon to be followed by even more entries later this year in the Yakuza series. So it looks like looks like looks like Microsoft finally you know lost that exclusivity deal on Game Pass with Yakuza because like now it's now it's Sony's turn. Um, some of the heavy hitters this month include uh, Metro Exodus, which story you just got through playing that, didn't you? Mm-hmm. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. recall. Yeah. Cool, cool. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna circle back to you in a second on that, um, and also Bug Snacks, which officially is making its return to PlayStation Plus. It was a it was a limited time exclusive for PlayStation Plus subscribers. I think I think you had like three months to get it. Then it disappeared off PlayStation Plus. You know, while it went to the full sale cycle, but now it's back. If now it's if, back, everyone. If you are a subscriber to PlayStation Plus Extra and PlayStation Plus Premium, so so there's that. Uh, also, uh, if uh, if if you're in open world games, uh, the co-op game Ghost Recon Wildlands, it will be Rep Your Alley, which um, I mean, it's a pretty like solid Ghost. Re- it's, yeah, I it's like a pre- it's a pretty solid Ghost Recon game. But but hold on, we're getting ahead of ourselves. Here's a list of games available right now for the PlayStation Plus Extra tier as well as the premiums tier. We've got we've got Bugs Next, as I mentioned before. We've also got uh, which is on PS5 and PS4. Also on PS5 and PS4, we have Dead Dead by Daylight. Uh, Ghost Ghost Recon Wildlands for PS4, Metro Exodus for PS4 and PS5, uh, Monopoly Madness for PS4 as well as Monopoly Plus for PS4, Trials and Mana also on PS4, Uno PS4, Wheel of Fortune PS4, and then we have Yakuza Zero, Yakuza Kiwami, and Yakuza Kiwami Two for PS4. If you are a subscriber to PlayStation Plus Premium, you also get Yakuza Zero for PS4 as uh wait i'm sorry my bad my bad uh that's a repeat i'm sorry yeah those are the games <laughs> i don't know why i just repeated myself <laughs> uh also uh yeah it happens you know this is what happens when this is what happens when you're rushing uh as i said uh no classic ps3 ps2 or ps1 ps1 or psp titles are part of this uh this lineup uh but Good news is, hey, a new trial come a new trial limited time trial happens uh, for Rollerdrome if you are a subscriber to the PlayStation Plus premiums here. So there you have it, thirteen games. Uh, Stoy, uh, you uh, you played Metro Exodus, so uh, if you want to take a moment, go ahead and let some people know about it. You know, might might influence where they go first to pick up their games. No, it's actually really good. It's a, I mean, you don't have to have played the first two, like. You just kind of maybe have to have a general understanding of what happened, I guess. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's actually a very interesting game where it's like little mini worlds that you kind of get into. So like you're taking yeah, a train. Something? Yeah. Um, there's actually a question for you. Do you think they have to like at least not like at least not play the first one? Like, do you think one and two kind of correlate or is one kind of its own? 
I'm asking for my like own because just thinking about it. One was based off the books, and I don't think two two was Exodus. Definitely was not. No, no. Okay, okay. I yeah. yeah I wanted to clear that up because so I'm like the, I don't one, know. Like, one had a more focused storyline. Two was kind of went off the rails a bit, and Exodus is obviously way out there. But uh, yeah, I, re- okay, okay. I I really honestly think like Exodus is my favorite because you could your actions really do affect the story. Mm, true, and true. it kind of makes it very interesting. Like, you know how the the game can end badly if you consistently make choice make bad choices in the game, and the game doesn't tell you that right off the bat. Like that guy, game actually doesn't tell you a period. Like you just kind of have to play the game like, you know, like. A good person so yeah like how would you make the act like how would you make the actions that's so, how you kind of like learn yeah but but like but like say for example you're trying to go through an enemy camp and like you know your boss or or you know your uh your commanding officer is like hey these people are innocent like just try to sneak through or you could t- you could say fuck off and i'm just gonna shoot all these guys because these guys have weapons so like obviously you could sneak through the camp or you could try to, you know, obviously you could fire your way through. So, and that 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 could change the outcome of the missions. That could change the outcome of how people view you. And obviously, that could change uh, the end game, which I'm not going to spoil the ending. But it's important to have as many people on your train as possible. And if I may, add, <clears throat> that same type of thought process applies to the first two games as well. Yeah, yeah. Because each game, I if I'm if I'm not mistaken, each game has a good ending and a bad ending. Yeah, but I think Exodus had it. It was like I don't know. There was just more to it. Like Exodus was like, of really course, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was really more open world than the first two ones. The first two ones obviously were kind of linear single player or mm. you know linear gameplay experiences. Whereas Exodus kind of had more like an open sandbox type idea. So. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, I just wanted to just, like, ask that because I, I didn't quite know if, like, one and two actually kind of correlated or if you, like, needed to play one to get two and three. So, sorry about mm. that. It's all good. That's all I had to say about it. All right, cool. Uh, <clears throat> uh, any of the uh, any of these titles jumping out to you guys uh, that you want that you want to kick off with first? For me, for me it's probably going to be Yakuza 0. Um, I don't know. I I didn't jump on that t- Trials of Mana train like everybody else did. Like I mean, like 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 there were a bunch of people in the Boss Rush Network that were that were just all oogly googly about it. But I I don't know. Like like I I haven't been the same googly, since googly about it. Yeah, I haven't been the, I haven't been the same since since. My since, choice of words are wrong. I mean, googly. I mean, if I say anything else, it'd be insulting. Like. You, <laughs> I'm, I'm being for real. I mean, like, Legend of, uh, like the Mana series hasn't been the same for me since you know since I completed the Legend of Mana like back in the day. So you know, like, uh, none of the sequels have ever stood out to me. I, you know, I, I think I'm starting to realize that 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 Square's SquareSoft's sequels always lacked. You know, because um because like if I think about it, like you know, I love Final Fantasy Tactics. Could not stand the sequels to those games. Could not stand them. I mean, that's probably Love. why they never released them to Western audiences because wasn't Trials of Mana like only Japanese? Yeah, yeah, it was. Then, yeah, it was. Yeah. Well, there were there were there were two Mana games that that were on the original Game Boy, and they no, I'm sorry, not Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, and they, and they eventually got a translation. You know, they well got got they got an upgrade to like to like the actual home consoles and stuff like that. Um, and I remember playing those, but they didn't really jump out at me either. What happened there? Did we lose story for a second? What happened oh, there? No, I'm still here. Yeah. yeah, same. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um. Yeah. But uh. uh yeah. Like Yakuza Zero. As a matter of fact, like the Yakuza series has always been kind of like a like a like like a like a dark horse for me. Like I've I've always liked them, but never really sank time into them because like this basically spiritual successor to like the Shinmu series to mm-hmm. to an extent you know and um and it's always had my fascination there but guys what say you guys out of, out of these out of these releases uh, someone someone's gonna say bucks next aren't they nope i'm not <laughs> for like, me um like, it's me. gotta be it's gotta be wild wild lands <laughs> i'm um i'm a sucker for like a open world kind of squad tactical approach 
type of guy. Yeah, that's a good one. To, that's a good one to pick on. That's a good one. I'm to pick always on. Wildlands is I'll, good. They fucked yeah. up with uh, they fucked up with Breakpoint. Yeah, they did. That's what I'm thinking of. I'm like, isn't Wildlands the really shitty one? It's Breakpoint. Breakpoint nah, is the shitty break- one because yeah. they didn't. Uh, they they were doubling down with the whole multiplayer aspect. That if you wanted to play that single player, you were literally going in solo everywhere. You had no AI companions whatsoever. Really? I hate when games do that. I and then it took can't. him a year. It took him over a year to like throw in AI companions, even though that was one of the most requested features in the game right when that game came out. Actually, I think mm-hmm. even before that game came out, people were like, no AI companions? What the fuck? This is a Ghost Recon game. Mm. Whatever. Yep. Mm. All right. All right. We, we ready to move on? Yes. All right. Cool, cool, cool. All right, strap in, guys, because uh, this next one is it's on, it's on Steam. Cool. <laughs> this next one is going to be pretty. It's going to be. I don't know. I feel like this is going to be a little comical. Uh, so Microsoft and Sony are having a little bit of a slap fight because of this whole Call of Duty controversy. Um, basically, on the one hand, Microsoft is saying that you know it doesn't make have any plans of making Call of Duty an Xbox exclusive, and they're saying like there's no. There's no money involved in it, you know, as far as that, uh, because uh, because if you remember in our last show, we spoke about how Sony was saying how Sony was basically blowing the whistle saying, hey, like if uh, if Call of Duty becomes exclusive for, for Microsoft, it's game over, <laughs> basically. So Microsoft came back with this and then and then Microsoft turned around and accused Sony <laughs> of saying that it pays developers uh, to block games from coming on to xbox game pass uh basically let me put the words let me put the words a little bit better microsoft has claimed that sony pays developers for blocking rights in quotes uh to in return for them agreeing to not put their content on the xbox game pass subscription service yeah <laughs> let's unpack this for a moment guys uh first of all first of all how ridiculous is all this i mean this is business Okay, true. It is business. It is business. It's, it's business, and we're talking, obviously, two titans of the industry, Microsoft and Sony. Yeah. Obviously, trying to kind of, you know, fight for the same place, uh, same for, for, you know, for the same rights, obviously, to, you know, obviously be in our households, because not everybody can have both systems. A lot of gamers out there only want to pick one. They only want to be Microsoft, or they only want to be Sony. Um, so, I, I'd be curious to see what the percentage of, you know, people that are gamers like that have both systems. I can't imagine it being a lot. Yeah, yeah, I don't I don't see it being a lot either. Given that given that um in in my in my experience like the games the games both exist in the same space. Like, you know, you know like only the exclusives matter because everything else is third party is usually dispersed across both if not all the major platforms and stuff like that, you know. Um, you know, like shit, like, like these games even get like an, a, a Nintendo iteration. If you, if you look hard enough and stuff like that, but you know, uh, mm-hmm. I'm also curious of the people who do own a PlayStation five and an Xbox series X, you know, I'm curious about that right now, you know, because there are people out there, but you know, like I want to know the percentage as well. Um, in my, in my opinion, in my opinion about this whole, first of all, like if we look at the, if we look at the claim that Microsoft is making about Sony, like paying blocking rights, I think that's kind of I think it's kind of wild. You know, if anything, Sony probably just outbids Microsoft in certain cases because as much even even as much money as Microsoft has, you know, like because Microsoft just 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 spent Activision Blizzard money, you know, and Zenimax Bethesda money, you know, like Microsoft is not always going to throw all this money at something, you know, they're not going to look at an indie title and be like, oh, we got to have it, like here's all our money, you know, they're not going to do that. Whereas Sony will out will 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 outbid them, you know, stuff like that, you know. There's a reason why Kingdom Bridge of Spirits is is where it's at. Well, actually, no, no, I'm sorry, Sony, uh, Sony, Sony helped pub, uh, publish that game, so never mind. That's that's a bad example. Yeah, but um, but yeah, but I mean, you know, you've got. You've got um, I I don't I feel like it's a little unless unless there's developers turn around telling Microsoft, hey, Sony's doing this. You might want to you might want to slap them, you know, a couple times. Unless there's a, unless there's like a, 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 a you know like a basis or a found or, or you know founded proof that this is happening. I don't think this is really happening. Uh, as as more as I'm convinced that Sony is just outbidding Microsoft for some of this stuff, you know, which is wild to think because Microsoft can basically take everything in the gaming world and leave and leave Sony and Nintendo with nothing, you know, if they mm-hmm. wanted to. Yeah, you know, 
Uh, but those are those are my two cents in the whole thing. Um, now, going back to the conversation a couple of weeks ago about the whole thing where Sony was like, where Sony was like, hey, if if Microsoft like like holds down Call of Duty, you know, uh, as an exclusive, um, you know, like everybody's in trouble. I can agree. I can agree with that. But you know, at the end of the day, it's Microsoft's property. You know, so I mean. I don't feel like I don't feel like Call of Duty would have that much of a seismic shift that it would actually affect hardware sales that much because I mean you gotta look you gotta look at for what it is. Sony's got phenomenal IPs and titles that come out and stuff like that and shit. Even when we think even when we think there's nothing around the corner for Sony, Sony comes out with something original that like that like everybody has a snap up and stuff like what that. What is so, the biggest video game in sales year after year after year? Uh well, Call of Duty is up there. I know yeah, that. Call of Duty is number one every year. I think they've been number one every year for quite some time. So this okay, is a, okay, you know what? This okay, is a huge. This is a huge franchise for Microsoft to have their hands on to do. Okay, let me let me to. let me circle let me circle back for a second. If, if and you look at, sorry, and um, Warzone. You know that's a huge thing for COD. Well. Well, Warzone. Well, Warzone is gonna say is gonna say multi platform because Warzone Warzone also deals with microtransactions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, because I was yeah. I was thinking if COD ended up being a console exclusive, would that mean that Warzone is also a console exclusive? Because that that no, would no. cause an uproar. No, day one, day one, Microsoft said that that there was no plans on like on like shrinking back the scale of Warzone. Um, because, because Warzone prints the money, you know? Um, yeah, like as many, as many people, as much as many people bitch about that, that game mode in general, I think it's like the most streamed thing on like Twitch. Like it's like, it's, it's, oh, I believe it. It's monumental what Warzone has done for Call of Duty. It's huge. Okay. All right. You know what? You know what? Let me circle, let me circle back on something because story, story bringing up that, you know, Call of Duty is the biggest selling title year after year. Um, yes, that is true. And this is the reason why I don't think Microsoft will shoot themselves in the foot on this. The Microsoft wants as much money as possible. You know, hardware sales, hardware sales does not carry any of these companies. All these companies, all these companies, you know, make consoles and they're always at a loss. Like, I mean, like, I mean, like even I, I, I don't, I, I gotta, I gotta ask the Nintendo power lot people, but I don't think even Nintendo is still making, you know, like return on investment for the switch. They're making, they're I making think all they, back in I console think Nintendo's sales. the only one that breaks even. Okay, Nintendo, the- Nintendo historically has always priced their consoles so that they break even. Okay. Whereas right. I think Microsoft and PlayStation will be more willing to take a loss. Yeah, yeah, because because they make up and they make it up in, in software. They make it yeah. software, yeah. and that's and that's the major thing here. Like like you know if if Call of Duty if if the Call of Duty franchise becomes exclusive to Microsoft, Microsoft is going. Microsoft is basically you know cutting a lot, not a lot of money, but they're cutting enough money. You know. Like yeah, like in the first couple of years, it might make their their sales year, but over in the long haul, it won't do that. And that's and and thank you for bringing up the the fact that Call of Duty is like the number one selling title, you know, like year after year for for a lot, you know, because uh because so apparently I, I, apparently the Nintendo Switch makes the Nintendo makes about forty dollars in every unit sold, and that's profit. okay. So so they're making yeah forty dollars profit. Yeah, forty dollars profit. So okay. I, I, it looks like, uh, according to Forbes, I'm reading this uh, number. Okay. So uh, the cost of literally making the switch is about two hundred fifty-seven dollars. So mm-hmm. if they sell it for three hundred, that's money that it goes right into their pocket right away. Okay. All right. Uh, yeah. So I. <sighs> I think these two companies are just trying to like, you know, like make their, you know, like try to try to express their will on how things are going and stuff like that. Um, ultimately, with all these government bodies that are weighing in on a whole Activision Blizzard, you know, like acquisition and stuff like that, I guarantee you like, you know, like the moment someone says, OK, you know, the moment one is these, these these governmental bodies, like whether it's the FCC or like the I forget the group that does like the whole thing for the uh, for the European Union. Um, once, once some, one of them turned around and says, Hey, like, this isn't right. You know, we'll, we're going to see those contracts get renegotiated and stuff like that. Like things are going to gamers. It's not doom and gloom time, you know, and, and in all seriousness, in all seriousness, 
if you want to play a game that badly, like we've said this since since way back in the days of the Super Nintendo, if you want to play one game that badly, you just go buy the system. <laughs> I mean, not a lot of not a lot of people can do that though. That's the thing. I mean, well, yeah, that's true. That, that's true. That's you know, true. You, know. you have. There, like, there's, there, 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 there's a lot of people out there that I, I think I just saw, I was just looking at the stats too, that um, 54% of like households actually own just over one system. And I mean, that, that, that could mean anything like that could be, you know, a PlayStation 5 and a Nintendo Switch or something. And a Nintendo like Switch, yeah. Yeah. Or, yeah, or, or even a 3DS well, that's been, or something like that. That's been the gaming, that's been the gaming culture. I want to say it's been the gaming culture since PS2 though. Like since since the PS2 era, the gaming culture has been everybody doesn't have every system anymore. You know, yeah. Like it's Which, it's one it's one or the other plus a bonus. You know, and you know so sometimes that, and, sometimes and that's that where bonus. I think it's I think it's common that someone has a PlayStation and then maybe a Nintendo Switch. Right. Like the Nintendo systems can be for the kids. The PlayStation is for the dad or the mom. Yeah. Or both. Yeah. Um, yeah, and, vi- or, and vice or versa. They, they want to or they want to do Xbox. So yeah, exactly. Yeah. Or yeah, it could be vice versa. So I, I, I want to say it's probably not as common. I mean, I, I can't find. I was trying to find specific, uh, specific numbers to say more. But uh, let's 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 look at it like this. Like when I had, it, let's, uh, I I briefly had both a PS3 and an Xbox 360 at the same time. I briefly had it, and it was because I wanted to play Mass Effect. I briefly had one together, you know. So yeah. Uh, it, uh, I don't know. Am I sounding a little too elitist here? Am I? Am, yes. am I doing that? Am I doing that thing? You know, yes. I get. I can't. Cause, cause I can't tell not, people. You think it's not going to change the uh, ecosystem, and I think it will, regardless. I I can't tell, and I also can't tell people how to spend their money. You know, like I. Uh, <sighs> I had a I think PS. No, sorry, a PS, same as you, a PS4 and Xbox 360, and I honestly thought it did more harm than good, because you're constantly, like, juggling Xbox exclusives, PS3 exclusives, and it's just, it it, it, it caused more harm than good, because it was just like, I don't know what to play, right, so. Honestly, I don't know, I, I don't know, because I, I feel like, I, I feel like I kind of, like, you know, like, kind of know kind of where things... Okay, being being a PlayStation loyalist for as long as I was and everything, right? Even if I did have an Xbox console, like the bulk of my games would probably wind up being PlayStation purchases, you know. And then I would get like the Gears of War, I would get like the Halo, I would get like you know like the games that you know were were exclusive to Xbox, you know, um, things like that. But I but you know like the games that I pr- would the games that I want to play, like you know that aren't required for me to have an exclusive console, would probably be PlayStation purchases, you know, stuff like that, you know. Um, and I feel like, and I feel like in in this day and age, I feel like people would actually be able to make that, you know, that 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 decision, you know. Um, but I will say this, you know, sometimes people, you know, they see, sometimes people see like, okay, I just spent five hundred dollars for this system, I spent five hundred dollars for this system, I gotta make it balance. So you know, I can also see people having that wrestling match about like, are they buying, are they buying this game for this system versus the other system, or what are they doing, you know, stuff like that, you know. Uh, I, I I can see that too. Mm-hmm. You know, it, it was back in the day. There used to be more exclusives to yeah t- t- tied to systems, and now the waters have been so muddy that, for the most part, there's very few. I would say probably a small handful every year of like console exclusive titles that are like must haves nowadays. Whereas yeah. back then, that was the whole ecosystem. Like you got a PlayStation Two, and it had games that the Xbox didn't have. Or the GameCube didn't have like it, yeah. we're, we're talking like you know big titles, yeah. big titles to really nail it down God. to you. Nowadays, remember that it's upheaval? like remember the upheaval when Nintendo had Resident Evil for a hot minute. I don't remember that upheaval. <laughs> yes, it, no Nintendo GameCube. When Resident, when Resident Evil Four came out, Resident Evil One remake, Resident Evil Zero. Come on. You know why Nintendo- I don't remember that upheaval? Because I bought why? the GameCube because of that game. So did, well, I already had a GameCube, so I, that was what, that was what cemented my purchase for that. Is when I found out they were going to release Resident Evil uh, remake on that exclusively for the GameCube, and Resident Evil Four was going to be exclusive on the GameCube as well. 
That 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 sealed my purchase. I was like, that's it. Yeah, that's game over. Yes, that was yeah, it. exactly. So if Call of Duty decides to all of a sudden one day go to Xbox, you know what's going to happen. People are going to start saving their money and going to buy an Xbox because that's the only place you're going to be playing Call of Duty. Easily, and that and yeah. that, I I hope I'm alive for that day because I would the gaming community is going to lose it. It'll be a war. But you know what they're going to do? They're going to go out and buy Xbox. They're going to go out and buy an Xbox. They're going to go out and buy the Xbox. As much as they go on Twitter, they're going to save up. They're going to go buy an Xbox, and they're going to go stupid, and they're going to play and then, and then the moment like, then the moment like Microsoft like let's let let like, start letting some properties go to different platforms. Then you're gonna see people online like 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 smashing their Xbox systems in the, in their driveway and like running over it with their cars and stuff. Yeah, that's all it's gonna be. Excuse me. Any final thoughts on this topic? No. No, sir. Cool. Well, we're on to our final news topic for the night. Then, so uh, so 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 uh, a while back. Uh, something really unfortunate happened in our world, and that was when Russia decided that it was going to invade the. Uh, it was going to invade Ukraine. I almost said the Ukraine. You know that. Uh, I've I've learned that that's like a. It's kind of. It's almost like a slur. I've 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 learned saying the Ukraine. You know. So um. But every now and then I kind of accidentally say it because like I'm just an old guy. But yeah. Uh, this the the reason why we're talking about this right now is because like there was. The gaming community had a very the gaming community as a whole, the corporate side of it had a very visceral reaction to this to this whole invasion, and sanctions got put on Russia for video games. <laughs> uh, yeah, so like so like popular games were no longer being were no longer being made made available for sale in Russia. Games like uh, Gran Turismo, uh, a whole bunch of Nintendo titles. Um, so yeah, it's it was a big deal. So. The Russian government, you know, decided it was like, hey, like, you know, like to maintain your way of life, we will we will we will allow you to do like illegal stuff like pirating games. And the reason why I'm talking about all this is because the Spider-Man remastered game that came out on Friday sold through all their pirated Steam keys in Russia. <laughs> all right. Only in Russia. Yeah, only well, yeah, only in, only in Russia for sure. Uh, so last Friday, Spider Man re- uh, Spider Man Remastered launched uh, to decent reviews, uh, but gamers in Russia were facing problems buying it on Steam because of the embar- uh, the, uh, the the embargo. Uh, out there, though, a local online store managed to get Steam activation keys, but immediately sold out despite selling them to, uh, to close to the most expensive price in the world. Like I don't, even, I didn't even get the information for how expensive it was, but uh, but Russians are paying money. Russians are paying money, and it and it kind of sucks for them. Um, but yeah, like on the day of release, online store Buka made a post on VK.com announcing that Russians could buy the game directly from them, as. Uh, and then there's a comment. There's a comment tree, like you know, like if you go look for it, there's there's a comment tree, a comment thread, basically talking about like how are we going to activate this? You know, like do we have to use VPN? All this stuff, it's wild, it's wild. But uh, but the reason why, the reason why, like we're talking about today, is because like we now have we now have a government, we have we have government approved piracy, guys. Where where do we begin with this? So, what game do you guys want? So, <laughs> what game? What game do you boys want? Huh? Yeah. Okay. So, so get a VPN and 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 make sure it's in Russia and just start just start getting them. Huh? And just start downloading anything. I'm da- hey hey if, if if that's happening, that um that beach game you told me about Stoy Peach first, Beach Splash first download. Let's go. Let's go. First download. I mean, well, I'm surprised that's not on the PlayStation uh, Plus Premium. <laughs> if that was there, I'd go buy one right now. I'd spend, oh, yeah. hold on, hold on, hold on. I'd spend my rent money for that game. The current version of Sony is really uptight about like about anatomy because, like, because, like, look, they uh, they reduced they reduced Tifa's boobs and like modified the jiggle technology. Bro, that game is on the PlayStation Four. Just FYI. Okay, okay. I, I don't know. I, I haven't just, gone looking. Just for it. Saying, I haven't just gone saying, looking. That for game it. is on the PlayStation Four. They don't care about that. 
And it's weird because, yeah, it, it, it seems like they kind of, like, contradict themselves every now and then. Like, you know, especially with uh, uh, Martha is Dead, like, how they heavily censored that. But that's different than jiggle physics in a video game. Yeah. And these jiggle... These jiggle... Some people call that fan service. <laughs> oh, you mean back when... Oh, you mean back when uh, Dead or Alive was just just becoming a thing? Fan service. What's Martha is Dead? Oh, that's it's a, a hor- it's a horror it's, game. Yeah, a survival it, horror. Or yeah, it's psychological a psychological survival horror game. Yeah, it's it's a horror game, and um, and in that game, you you wind up doing some some pretty extreme acts just to survive in that game. Yeah. Oh. So let's go back. To, let's circle back to the topic. What was your question? I totally forgot. Well, actually. Actually, uh, should we be talking about the piracy aspect, or should we be talking about like just the fact that you know Russian gamers can't play games? This is the thing, and my my take on this may be controversial, but I'm just gonna say I'm just gonna say it because this is what should have this is what people should have expected. When you deprive people of something, especially something that they love and care about, they will find any way to go get that thing. Imagine yeah. if all of a sudden one day another country said, we're going to imagine if Japan all of a sudden told us we're going to stop shipping you PS5s and we're going to stop shipping you and making you guys be able to download Japanese exclusive games. Imagine that. Oh, the black market would be wide the fuck. You open. kidding me? Yeah, and all of a sudden, and I, you know, I imagine even at some point the government would step in to say, "Well, if this is what it's going to take," because as a government, you want to stick it to the people that are trying to fuck over your people, right? Yeah. So <laughs> it's honestly, this isn't a surprise to me. This isn't a surprise to me that even Russia would say, "Like, fine, go ahead, fuck it. We're not, you know, we're not going to do anything. If you want to play these games and you you found a way to do it, feel free." What do is you that, expect? It's what not do like people Russian, expect? It's not that your Russian government's always playing nice, you know. Like, I, oh, by the, just real fast. Anybody you know, would do this. That's my controversial take of this. It oh, doesn't matter oh, if it's Russia. It doesn't matter if it's England. If it's United States. It's, it's story, Italy, hold, it's, it story, doesn't matter hold, who it is. Anybody would make up. the same exact <laughs> decision. My guy, I'm trying to get a disclaimer out here real fast. Like, we're, I just we're, gave we're, you the disclaimer. <laughs> we're 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 at cross at the Crossroads Video Game Podcast. We are sorry right now that we're getting political. We are. But at the same time, we need to talk about it. This is the space to talk about it. So, all right, keep going, Stoy. That was it. That was all I had to say. Of course. <laughs> no, you interrupted me for no reason. So that's why I was going to say that was that was all I wanted to say because it was just going to be a quick shot that it's like anybody, any country out there would do this very same thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and honestly, this whole thing started because they were trying to ruin like like all these companies and stuff. The idea, the idea is nice. You know, you hurt, you hurt somebody's economy enough, it gets them to realize that hey, I've been fucking up, and I need to stop fucking up and you know get things right. But shit, no. not how that works. But, yeah, this has been going on since this has been going on since since when did they invade? What was that? Was that February? Mid, late late of fe- late February. Yeah. yeah, yeah, late February. Yeah, like, and you know. And you know, to their credit, you the Ukrainians are doing the damn thing. Like I like like I'm not I'm not a political analyst or whatnot, so I can't say for sure, but I thought, you know, like this invasion was gonna be something that was gonna be, you know, it's devastating. But I thought I thought we were already I thought we were already been hearing like, you know, like Ukraine is now part of Russia again, you know. And the fact that, you know, like the Ukrainians are holding out, you know, stuff like that. My heart goes out to y'all. Um, I definitely, I definitely want you to know that I am with the Ukrainian people. But that being said, you know, like crippling, cripplingly, crippling the economy sometimes just to make a statement, you know, is not always the best thing to do. Not always the best thing to do, you know, because they're gonna they're gonna figure out ways to make war regardless. And the sad part is, is that you know, when push comes to shove, they're gonna do some really desperate stuff, like. Like hell, they've got a nuclear power plant right now under control. That's running at half capacity. I'm afraid, you know, of a of a Chernobyl situation again. I hope not. Dead air. So, <laughs> since we since we ripped since we ripped the bandaid off, let's talk about software piracy. <laughs> No, 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 no. 
before before anybody out there thinks that we're going to actually talk about promoting it, we're not. We're not, but we understand. We understand why it happens. We do. We do. Sometimes people have no access to it. Sometimes people cannot afford it. Sometimes for whatever reason, you know, like things happen, you know, like the game's available, then it's not available. I guess that goes into accessibility, but you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, people are people are paying money right now to someone to try and reverse reverse uh, reverse code and get P- uh, PT Silent Hills back in a digital format somewhere. People are people really? are doing that. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah. Oh yeah, you could download it now. I mean, I played it in VR mode, full VR mode. Holy shit. How's that? T- terrifying. Terrifying. You can't, oh you can't pay me. I don't know how many times God. I played through that game and beat it on the PS4, which I still have my old PS4 upstairs with PT. Oh, I hate it. you. I hate you. But uh, you know, when I when I played that in the VR, I couldn't last five minutes. I was like, no, nah, fuck this. <laughs> I'm sorry. I I, I I I can never go back to that game after after a whole sync fetus. I can't. Yeah, I have no. never, I've never played it, and I'm, I'm, I'm very curious. No, if, about if, it. if you go, if you go, I mean, you, all you got to do is type, type it in. You'll be able to download it somewhere. I know, I, I, because there's people that have tried to like reverse engineer it and actually, um, try to recreate it, and there are some really good ones, like some really solid ones. Yeah, mm-hmm. there are. Okay. Yeah. I might. Was, yeah, I might. Sorry, I was gonna say I might have to um, to see if I can find it because I've heard nothing but like really good things about it. They just celebrated eight years. I can't believe it's been eight years. Man, that game just needs to happen. Just the whole game. I know. Yeah. Shut up! Don't get me started. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. 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 Poor, poor one up for the homies. Oh, okay. Okay, so according to prices listed today on Steam Steam DB, Ukrainians can pay thirty seven eighty eight to enjoy Spider Man Remastered directly on Steam. Um, the prices for the prices that Russians are paying Steam list are uh, prices in Russia is not available, but Buka's price for the activation key is about four thousand rubles or sixty or sixty four twenty nine U.S. dollars. Uh, um, so actually that's not too expensive. I'm glad I looked that up. That's not, that's not too expensive, honestly. Like, I mean, shit, like, like that's just, that's minor inflation, you know? So for us in Canada, it'd be like 80 something. So basically like a brand new game. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 Uh, crazy enough. If you guys want to read more about this, uh, about this topic, uh, head over to torrentfreak.com. The name alone already implies you would. The name alone already implies what you're going to encounter there. But get, head over to torrentfreak.com and check it out, guys. Are we ready to wrap up the show? I think we are. I think we are. Um, I want to hang mean, out with you guys. Huh? I mean, we you know we could we could say. I mean, I, I suppose yeah. I mean, um, piracy has its uses. It hurts the developers, but. You know, and and I think we've seen this happen with Japanese import games, to where you know games that uh, have to get ported over here somehow and pirated, obviously, to yeah. Western audiences just for them to enjoy the game. And developers sometimes can be strapped with localization, um, you know, having to maybe remake the game for certain audiences because let's let, let's understand that some games that are developed for Japanese audiences don't appeal to Western audiences. But or like it, it doesn't mesh well with you know Western audiences because of cultural differences. So um, there's a lot of reasons why people pirate, and if you're going to pirate, you know if you're going to be a good pirate, <laughs> uh, if there is such a thing, uh, you're going to do it because obviously you want to give people access to a game for good reasons. But if you're going to pirate because you know, you're just a piece of shit it's that tells. A, it's a way. To, it's someone. a way to make the buck. Because yeah, yeah. fucking dickhead. No, not 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 even that. It's just like if you're gonna find a way to pirate because you just don't want to pay developers or you don't want to pay video game companies for making a game because you're you're a cheap asshole, then then you can go fuck yourself. Or in the case of countries where like they've been denied access to a lot of these games, well, they're gonna find a way to get it somehow. Mm-hmm. We're not all like. 
we're not all new to piracy and yes you may get what you want but it 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 behind the scenes it does hurt people so yes it does and that's kind of yeah. part of the problem especially when it comes to when it comes to newer games obviously like if you know i'm pirating a copy of spider-man you know and like hanging yeah. on to it and keeping it and without without paying for it but so yeah so would borrowing it, a game from someone be considered piracy um, no, 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 no. Depending, depending on. Yeah. Well, okay. Well, you I guys. Mean, someone gotta... paid for it. Someone paid for that copy. Someone, but that, yeah, that, someone... that in lies the problem with video game purchasing these days. Is what does you really own? Does borrowing a game for a long time and the person forgets you forget they lent you the game and then you sell said that's, game that's to theft. buy another game? That's larceny, actually. <laughs> Yeah, because okay. you took it, you took it to a different extreme. Like yeah, you stole kinda... it, you stole it, then you've got monetary gains off of it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, because okay. when you think about it, when you buy a game, you don't you don't buy the actual game; you buy the license to play it. You buy the license to play the game, which you, you, which, you, I, which I've always I've you're always said buying bullshit. the right to play that game. So you're not yeah. you don't own the game; you just own the right to play it. This is and obviously this is why these companies granted getting... you. Obviously, the developers have granted you the ability to you know, loan the game if you've bought the physical copy. Yeah. You know, which obviously if that's the case and that person that you're loaning it to hasn't really paid for it, but you know, that's where you get, that's where it becomes murky. The water becomes murky because it's like, do you actually have the right to loan it to someone even though you have the ability to? Mm -hmm. It's that gray area. It's like, yeah. This is also yeah. why companies, this is also why companies get bent out of shape w with the modding community. <laughs> yeah. Because they're fixing your shit. And you have fixed... they're either fixing your shit or they're or they're enhancing it to make it to make it to make it more more enjoyable. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, and especially with the online space the way it is now, I mean you can you can get anything, you can have anything, you can make anything that you want. You know, granted did you have the tools and the skills necessary to do it. So yeah, if you wanna, you know, be a big boobed anime girl in Spider Man, you know remastered you could probably do that right now actually let's go to nexus mods right now and see if you can do that <laughs> while he's doing that uh we're gonna go ahead and, and wrap this bad boy up uh guys it's, it's been a pleasure tonight i will say that always. it's always it's always fun with you guys um always and, always and uh everyone that's our show as always we'd like to give a big thanks to you for tuning into the crossroads uh podcast um and before we head out uh, here's how you can get connected and stay connected with the crew throughout the week while we get ready for our next show. Uh, Story, go first. Uh, I haven't found any nude mods for uh, Spider-Man yet, but uh, I'm Damn still going to be on the hunt. Still going to be on the hunt. No nude Mary Jane, huh? Nope, not yet. Not yet. If you find one, let me know. Someone's probably um, going to do. Someone's probably going to do Aunt May before you do Mary Jane. Yeah, who knows? Because we'll you know, because you know how you know how sick the the, the community is. Yep. All right, Story, where can they find you? I am also on the EXP cast. We're a video game podcast on the uh, Boss Rush Network. You can follow us there on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram at EXP cast. We post episodes every Monday and Thursday. Uh, you can also follow my personal Twitter at Stoy, M-K-E-8. Andre. I am on uh, Twitter and Instagram. Both are a and then D R E underscore W I L S O N. I am also on YouTube at Andre Wilson. Um, um, yeah, that's just the uh, um, that's just <laughs> three the yeah the three places you can find me. Um, very active on Instagram. Trying to be more active on YouTube and Twitter. I'm just afraid to say something because then I get called rude for offending someone so hey you can't win you can't please them all i it's fucking i could be like everyone have a good day and someone's like fuck you and i'm like all right that's how it's that's how twitter works <laughs> yeah sure does yeah, all right twitter and, work. and as always place, though don't forget true true as always, you can catch me on social media at Exodus803. That's also my YouTube and Twitch channels, as well as my PlayStation Network and Steam ID account, uh, Gamertag. Uh, so uh, don't forget, 
Uh, I'm also part of the Boss Rush Podcast crew, which uh, we do our thing Wednesday nights at, uh, at use it 8.30 p.m. over at bossrush.net's uh, Twitch or YouTube channel. It all depends on how Corey's feeling the night he wants to broadcast. But yeah, check that out. Uh, before we head out, here's some things we here's some things that we thought you might want to check out over at bossverse.net. Uh, our buddy uh, David Lasby, who he's probably mad at me now because I have not played any aliens fire Ali, aliens uh, fire team elite with him yet. Uh, he just wrote a book review for eight for the uh, for the aliens uh, aliens nightmare Asi- aliens. <laughs> Aliens Nightmare Asylum, <laughs> which is a complete, uh, basically is an omnibus, which basically is like a big collected edition of novels in one book. Here's the review for that over at, uh, over at BossRush.net. Uh, check that out. Uh, get his thoughts on it because he, I I think he's a, well, I, I, th- I believe he's a bigger Aliens fan than I am, and I'm a pretty big Aliens fan. So check that out. Uh, also, our our my our wonderful friend Stephanie Klimov, uh just just released an article uh, last uh, a couple of days ago about the scarcity mindset in gaming and collectibles. Stoyd knows a little bit about this. Yeah, that that, that was a really good. Uh, that was a really good. Uh, it's kind of where I was going, but she more eloquently she eloquently said it better. Yeah, and uh, and our friend Josh Martinez uh, asks, "Do you enjoy video games based on other mediums?" And by saying that, what he means is uh, basically licensed gaming. You know, like games built off of like other like other properties, like like TV shows, movies, things like that. Do you enjoy video games based on other mediums? Uh, in the uh, the August sixteenth Boss Rush, the August sixteenth edition of the Boss Rush Banner. Um, all that more can be found over at bossverse.net, so head there and check out more editorials and shows from our ever-growing family of creators and contributors. Also, we'd like we're always looking for more people to hang out with, you know, virtually online, you know, because uh there's a there's there's still the COVID thing happening and you know, monkeypox is is is, is a reality now. <laughs> but uh Appar- but apparently, yeah. Yeah, but uh, but if you want to just meet some cool people, like like chat and hang out, you know, uh, head over to Boss Rush Network Discord. Uh, we'd love you if you did it. Um, as always, you can chat with us and get the conversation going by heading by hitting us up over on Twitter at PS underscore Crossroads. Additional more news, events, and topics while we're getting ready for the next installment of the show. Uh, do not forget, uh, we are we are looking for your questions. Like, ask us anything. Uh, hiss up, you know, if you can, either slide in our DMs at PS underscore Crossroads or send us an email at Gmail, uh, Crossroads, Crossroads PS pod at gmail.com. Uh, and we want to hear from you so you guys can hear our thoughts and opinions on whatever you want to talk about. Um, that's it. This has been episode 91 of, of Crossroads, the video games podcast. Guys. We are we are within striking distance of episode one hundred. We're gonna have to do it. we're gonna have to do it up. You see it over the hill. We're we're gonna have to do it up. I'm not I'm not sure what what doing it up actually means, but we're gonna have to do something. <laughs> it's always gonna wear cargo pants. You're wearing the mesh tank. I'm wearing okay, a freaking okay, bro, onesie, bro. On episode one hundred, please remind me. I will wear my cargo. I will wear my uh, camouflage pants. <laughs> I will I still get, have I will, them. I know I where they the, are. I will get the mesh tank top ready. Okay. And I will wear the chameleon onesie. <laughs> All right. It's, it's, gonna, it's gonna happen. It's, it's gonna happening. Be All right. here for one hundred. Fast reminder: If you like the show, please consider like subscribe, like like following, subscribing to us on YouTube. Also, like hit us up over at uh, over at any of the spaces you listen to the audio version of the podcast. At share, rate, and review us. Uh, we would love you for it. Uh, as part of the Boss Rush Games family, we all want you to go out, have a great night, take care of yourselves, play games, be better, and we will see you next time here at the Crossroads Video Game Podcast. Good night. We love you guys. Stay safe, y'all.